are more than just tech. Happy Thursday! Yeah, yeah. Yo, it's Rich Round Radio. It's your boy, Speedy. I'm the poet. It's your girl, Claudia Jordan. Nurse TDP. Jordan. RT is one, in the two, building. Three knocks, baby. Uh, RT is uh, in the building. Try that again, RT. We'll, we'll bring you in. <laughs> I just was ready to jump in. Yeah, you won't be here next Yeah, week. affirmative action. <laughs> <laughs> the, song, the, the intro song messed me up. All right, cool. <laughs> It's your boy Speedy. I'm the poetess. It's Nurse Claudia Jordan. Once again, it is TDP, Mr. One, Two, Three, Knox. Baby. Baby. And guest sitting in for one day only. <laughs> Token. <laughs> Token. <laughs> Comedian RT. RT, right. Atlanta's yeah. finest. You listen to 92.7 K Rag. You're on the rag. Talk to me. Hysterical. Just say like you're on the rag. <laughs> I just always want to do a radio intro. <laughs> <laughs> do it again. Do it again. You listen to ninety two point seven K Rag. You're on the rag. Talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's on flow in town. Yeah. <laughs> Number to call into is three two three two four seven seven four four. Skype. 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 Today is Talent Thursday, and I mean Talent Thursday. We're trying something a little different. RT, we normally don't let people sit in, but you kind of impressed us a little bit when you walked in and kicked this. Your, uh, Thank you. The Jamaican bucks accent. I gave y'all uh, definitely helped out, right? Exactly. Yeah. Cool. And there, your uh, Jamaican accent was fucking hilarious. Yeah, Do it again. Call me. Call me now. <laughs> the lines would be closed in the tree church. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Cleo. Call, me, call me now. <laughs> Irish Jamaican. <laughs> yeah. And all of us have something little on. Where's your little oofy something you're supposed to have on? Focus. Um, see what she's kind of I think your Halloween is two weeks away. So well, This is my actual time. it up. I like this time. You look crazy. Yeah. I don't know what that is. And Peter's Ice Cube. <laughs> <laughs> ice Cray. <laughs> I'm not that cool. <laughs> <laughs> and just to get it out there. Before we even get the show started, Claudia mm. has some pictures on her. Wow. <laughs> I have received five phone calls from guys I haven't spoke to in a long time <laughs> who actually want to impregnate you. Wow. Really? Yeah. They saw the thickness. And if you haven't seen the pictures, go online and please talk about the pictures. Please. I did a photo shoot with, uh, it's called King of Hair, uh, with my friend Anthony Cherry. He's like a celebrity. He's like a stylist of the stars. Right, but right. he's super down to earth and cool people. And um, he asked me to come in, as well as Evelyn from Basketball Wives, her beautiful daughter, um, Natalie Nunn was there, Little Mama was there, oh, uh, rapper Tiffany Fox. Uh, Did I people. see Lisa Ray's daughter there? Lisa Ray's daughter Kai was there yeah. as well. She has beautiful hair. So he got all his diva clients that he has, and we did a photo shoot. And so he did this like long braid style with me on me, and then they gave me like a um, this long gold kind of cape i guess with some yeah. like booty shorts, booty, shorts. Shorts. Like booty cutters and uh yeah no. i didn't know i didn't realize how oh, thick i looked or yeah. i i don't i know i've gained weight but i didn't really know to what extent well, your camel toe song. needs no water there's no camel toe <laughs> <laughs> anyways but um you had ass for days but delicia bryant was there too and I'm she said she said to me she's like I've never seen you like this before. She's yeah. like, I never seen the sexy Claudia like booty out. Like I never seen you, you like were that. On fire. I looked at <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> your picture's a little wet right now. Really? Yeah, I got a little baby batter on them. Well, wow. they're on the unofficial. <laughs> you know what? We'll put them on the blog, uh, the Reach Around blog. Not the ones I got. They're on the unofficial page. <laughs> we'll put uh, them on there. The unofficial Reach Around page on Facebook, and I tweeted a couple of them out. So thank you so much for the props. That means I a lot. I was so proud. Me. I was like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Claudia I got work with her. Yeah, exactly. I, I know her. her. Was yeah. there any drama? You know, a lot of divas in the house. I thought there would be. I really thought there would be with a couple people, but it actually wasn't. Well, actually, a little mama, a little bit. 
Kind of. Was <laughs> there wine or champagne regulate. on the set? She kind of regulated a little bit, but I think her personality is just she's very she's a strong kind of in your face. Remember when of, she jumped on stage? Where was it? The American Music Awards or uh, one of those VMA award shows New with uh, Jay Z yes. and Alicia Keys? Oh, that was her. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I did see that. Yeah. She was feeling it. Has she ever had a hit? <laughs> Anything? Yeah, she had that. My lip gloss is pop. Try that song. I thought that was Tyler Perry's song. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> I like she was lots of fun and I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. So. You look marvelous, I must say. And today you're going with the uh, <laughs> Gilligan Island, Island look. What? Uh, Marianne. What Marianne. island was that? Gilligan? Gilligan. 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 Island. Gilligan. 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 Nurse. Cleavage showing. Nightmare. Lots of cleavage. I gained 10 pounds. You look great, yeah. buddy. Thank you. I okay, Portis. Shout out to Twitter. I love this little outfit you're working here where you <laughs> separated your uh, biddies. Man. Oh, my God. That's that uh, Bible school uh, tie. <laughs> <laughs> Church and state. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. gravy. <laughs> they are beautiful. Do you have anything to say about those uh RT. I was caught off guard with the little hand pat on top of yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> that <out. laughs> it's called an adjustment. Yeah, the adjustment. they do that to just down and then bring up. That was nice. I like the. You always got to pump it nice. down and then bring it up. Before we got on air, POTUS was commenting on how sexy she thought uh, a certain male celebrity, white celebrity, George Clooney yes. was. She and said he can get it. Yeah, he could. He's so fine. Would you be his mistress if he was married? Uh, probably not. He gonna probably pay, he gonna pay you though. Probably. Yes. Yeah. 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 And no, I let him hit once. Oh, <laughs> just one time. Only after six thirty. <laughs> really? Uh, after uh, no, I, I was watching him on uh, Regis and Kelly this morning, and just his whole mannerisms. He's okay. just very manly, Speedy. Mm, wow. Oh, wow. Where'd that come from? Shots fired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down so you're saying Speedy is George Corny? <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Claudia, what white guy in Hollywood would you uh, take some baby batter from? <laughs> white. I'm really not into white boys. Answer I the question now. Once. European. Twice. Um, twice. <laughs> once, twice. Three times a lady? Once was a jump off. Um, oh. <laughs> he's my boss. Um, let's see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bob Barker. Welcome uh, to Deal or No Deal. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, yeah. Um, let me think. Who's a sexy white guy? Oh, um, dude from The Hangover. Oh, uh, what's his name? Him. Him. That oh, guy. the teacher. You know? The teacher guy. Bradley yes. Cooper. Yeah. Bradley Cooper. I think is sexy. Okay. Yeah, he is. And I, I'm, I'm, um, what's his name? The one from uh. Only one. Moving on. Oh, never mind. That's fine. Oh. That's fine. I, I like Benicio one. Del Toro. He's not like fine, but he has uh, charisma to him. He looks like yeah, he'd be but I think the werewolf white. He, that, that, that doesn't no, count. he's Latino. Latino. But I think the Is werewolf Latino? movie sealed his fate. Huh? The, the werewolf movie sealed his fate because <laughs> that was a terrible movie. Uh, that was good. Nah, he'll no, be back. werewolf what? was terrible. When it was in the laboratory, when he lost it and broke out the, he was a oh, Latino they, werewolf. Yeah, they lost so much See, money. That never that. works out. Oh, okay, yeah, it's they not lost believable. a lot of money. If I had to pick one young lady, one white, white celebrity white would you celeb, get with? that I used to have a crush Kirstie on. Kirstie Alley. Kirstie Alley was one. <laughs> oh, wow. You know she lost <laughs> Matt Wade. Which yeah. Kirstie Alley, though? The fluffy one. The fluffy one. Yeah. Cheers. But, but I would say, yeah, no, no, Cheers. The diet, the diet oh, commercial. Diet commercial. <laughs> no, but I'll go with uh, Wonder Woman. Oh, Linda Carter. Linda Carter. Linda Carter. Oh, yeah. I think it's beautiful when white women have, like, dark hair and blue eyes. I think that's a really pretty combination. Yeah. Teeter. Like, what's her name? The bad girl. The new actress. Oh, Megan Fox. Yeah. Why oh, we keep looking at him for the white people? Yeah. Yeah. I know all white people. Come on, RT. I'm the white person roll today. So. TDP, so, what white hey. woman would you... Uh... I mean, this white girl I stared at for like two hours straight. Was that? Rest in peace. Anna Nicole Smith. But she was the guest girl. Oh, oh yes. yes. She, she was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Did you know that... Uh, he said she had ass. She had ass guest into. jeans. I ain't never yeah. seen a girl rock guest jeans like she did. Mm -hmm. yeah. Arsenio, she who I guess Arsenio used beautiful. to hit that back in the day. Wow. He had no a, way. Yeah, he had a life size po life who? size poster of her backstage. Who did? Arsenio. Of who? Anna Nicole. Anna Nicole. My girl. Yeah. Yeah, oh girl. fuck Arsenio. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to switch this one up. RT, Wait. what black person, <laughs> what black woman you want to get some baby batter to? Man, there's so many. Um, <laughs> Start in the room and yeah. be like, 
we just do the top thousand now? <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with one. Um, man, you gotta stay right but, on but, but this is good. This is like, are we going back in time? Wherever you, wherever you, you choose. Go. I'll take um, uh, Stacy Dash from Mo Money. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Stacey Dash I'll go. I'll go. When was that? Ninety two. One. But she kind of mixed though. We want you to get real black. Oh, black. She's black, still black. black. She's still black. Yeah, but I want give me black. black. So Holly Berry's out. Yeah, Holly Berry's out. What about black, black, black. what up seventies Pam Greer? What about that? Mm. There you go. <laughs> Stay focused. Is that black enough coffee? Yes, you know what? sir. Coffee. Yes, sir. <laughs> Um, RT. Yes. We are in costume today, and you don't have anything, so I have I something. Brought... I just kind of put something together for you real quickly. I don't know if you want to use it or not, but if you can just go ahead and just. <laughs> Hysterical. <laughs> Hysterical. I'll beat his ass. He put that. <laughs> Should I get mine out of the car? <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of the car. I don't need that one. That's the real thing. <laughs> I don't want you to feel left out. <laughs> call me now. Call me now. <laughs> Thank you, Claudia. I appreciate it. The number to call in to is 323-247-7443. You know what, Poetess? You made a good... Because normally, Poetess wouldn't let you sit there. So she felt something. That's from good. you. Thank you, Portis. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're delivering right now because normally Portis would hit me with the elbow, like, is he going to go in the room? Even though I'll be like, well, Portis, he right there. He hear you. <laughs> is he going to go in the other room? He needs to go in the other I room. I feel like I'm the enforcer you of are. the group. You are. You are. You are. Really? Tell me about that, Portis. <laughs> <laughs> Something you want to share? You are a little bear. It's like I'm the one that, you know. Ayatollah or Portis. <laughs> Say it again. Ayatollah Opoetis. <laughs> but don't think she don't like Poe love to be the one go. And she never and her thing, she always looks off from you. And she'll go, anyway, motherfucker. Yeah, she does look away. And you're like, she, she does the David Caruso. <laughs> yeah, she's right. not even looking And her. I'm like a diplomatic I like when people want to fight, I always feel like I wanna like like no, you're the down. pit bull. No, I'm no, not. You only on the radio and in, you're the, <laughs> and in vans in Atlanta. I love instant denial. No, right. I'm not. No, wait, like Claudia, you're the one who says, "Go ahead, knock the chip off the shoulder." Right. <laughs> what? You'll Go draw ahead. the line in the Remember sand. back in the day? Yeah. Claudia okay. Jordan is a reindeer with teeth. That's what she is. <laughs> so she's Bambi, right? No, with I'm not. With teeth. No, I'm not. I am no deer. I like the fact you get mad and still laugh. I, <laughs> I do. Like, I can't whoop your ass if you laugh. It's like stop smiling, mother. Because I rarely get mad. Rarely, like even remember the whole thing in the van with the monkey. Right. Well, you turn I your back like... to him. And... <laughs> yeah. That was, when you that, get that was mad. Classic. The thing about Claudia, she goes on and on. She'll tell you the story like she just now telling you like, Claudia, it's the ninth time you flew. <laughs> I flew with her to D. De- oh, y'all don't know what. I-, I feel like that movie. I wanted to shoot myself in the head so bad. You know what? He likes to pretend that we had these conversations on the plane when we went on this trip. Claudia. I sat nowhere near him, first of all. And when I get on the plane, I always fall asleep. And I would never sit like next to him on the plane. Do you talk in your sleep? I do. There but, you go. But, but he was nowhere near me. I was touching. You can't all over fit in the middle seat. <laughs> wow! And I always have aisle, so uh, he's full of shit. He always me. acts like we were just all booed up on the plane. And shit. We was booed up. No, we weren't. No, you was my friend for two days. You had to be. It was just me and I you. I had to feed you. <laughs> I know. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to uh, no I per had, diem. I had no per diem, so Claudia was like, "What you need, Speedy?" I mean, I could use a few. I went to ATM. I took like, <laughs> like, like, like you rolled out about five hundred dollars. I was like, "Here, nigga." I could use two of though. Well, give it back to me. We went on this trip and we were not taken care of. Like when we arrived, TV One was it TV One? No, hysterical. <laughs> the worst. Ah. And um, we were in DC. Shots fired. We were in DC and we were covering the inauguration of Barack Obama, and we we're very proud to be able to do this. You know right, what I mean? So right. it meant a lot. So when we arrived, not that we didn't want you to come. No, it's all good. It was no, like it was well, it's, like gonna, it's the one and only time it's gonna happen. So you know what I mean? <laughs> hysterical. It's good to be Pretty there. Much. Be there for the moment. People are making moves on them. Okay, so. We get there and there's no car service, there's no van, there's nobody there to pick us up. Mm. And the airport we were flown into was an $80 cab ride from our hotel. Yeah. And not to mention it was probably freezing. It was oh. about 10 degrees yeah. out. If so it, we roughed we, it out when we went to go. We were walking around and people thought we were married well, and well, arguing with each other. No, let's be and they want. asked us for a ride. They said, well, do y'all want to get in the car? Is that your wife? I was like, no. But let's see. Why are y'all arguing? I said, it's a long story. But let's go back to why we are. You know what? I think no one's ever really heard the story. Like, it's, tell it. Okay, so we get to DC. We're at, we're really happy to be there. You know, big Barack Obama um, supporters. So the first night, like, there's balls going on. There's all kind of parties, like right. historical events that we love to be a part of. We didn't get to go to anything. We wow. just sat in a hotel room and had no per diem, no food, nothing. Like I was basically feeding Speedy. Like he was my bitch on this date, on this like, trip. On this trip. So, oh so basically. Um, an inaugural bitch. <laughs> 
So anyways, like the day that we had to go cover, we had to leave on a bus with like a bunch of people. Like we had to wear like probably five layers of clothes. Yeah. It was literally, yeah. it had to be Freezing. about 10 degrees outside. It was brutal conditions. So we did our broadcast. Yeah, look cold. Jesse Jackson's tear froze up right there. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> so when we got there, we did the show. And uh, from what I heard, we had amazing coverage. They said it was the perfect balance of comedy and serious coverage of the inauguration. So we were very proud of what we did. But then it's time to go. Now there's like a half million people in the streets that need to find their way. And the thing was, they weren't letting any cars into the perimeter. Right. So... You had to go outside of D.C. to get a ride. Right? Yeah. There was no cabs, no nothing. But the thing is, it wouldn't matter because nobody sent a car for us. Yeah. Like, we were just abandoned and left and there we by the lost. company that we were working for. And no we were, one had a car for we us. We got lost. We, and the phones didn't work. No. Wow. There was a two-hour oh, wait didn't work. to get no on. Reception. There was no a two-hour wait to get on the train to get out of D.C. Yes. And we're in Virginia over a bridge. So we're walking around for four hours in the cold. We went to McDonald's. It was horrible. Yeah. So me and Speedy, I was like, man, fuck these motherfuckers, man. When I get back, I'm quitting. I'm not fucking with them anymore. I can't take this. So imagine we walk So we're walking. He's like, let's go this way. I'm like, that ain't the way, Speedy. That is not the way. It's, it's couple rolls their window down and the minivan over went, um, you guys look a little lost. We were cold. As you hell. and your wife, once y'all get in the van, it, P P Claudia was like, get in the motherfucking van, Speedy. Just get in and we'll get a ride somewhere. And it was like, we'll take you where you got There go. were like two bridges leaving D.C. over water. That's right? the only time it's okay to get into a stranger's van. It right? was. Right. Yeah. And there was like, Speedy wanted to take a bridge with no signs. <laughs> I'm like, how do we know that's the way to bridge? I feel like runaway slaves. Right, right. Like, it's probably better than our situation, but I don't know what's down yonder. <laughs> so... We finally, someone finally let us sit in their van because they were feeling all positive about Barack Obama. And then we called Chris from Sirius and he came and picked us up. And I cool. was so mad. Damn. So that was the trip. That's the trip they went That's on. That's one of the times okay. you got that. So now, you know, did you ever hear that story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did? Oh, my bad. Like Speedy said about <laughs> my my, Well, you know what? Now the listeners get to hear it. TDP, I don't know if you ever heard it. But I yeah. heard it eight you, times. Oh, my You're bad. listening to Reach Around I told Radio. A second. You got nine um, more to go over and here. And LATalkLive.com. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. Hit us up. 323-247-7443. Skype. 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 Check this out, baby. Tenemos tremendo lío. Last night you didn't go a la casa de Dio. Shout out to Mellow Man Ace. That's Mellow Man Ace. Yo, I was gonna, before back. that, before we continue on, before that was Rapper's Delight by Sugar Hill, and last week a, um, a hip-hop pioneer died, Sylvia Robinson, she yes. was 75, she was also a singer and songwriter, but she also established Sugar Hill Records, and hence Sugar Hill Gang, Correct. one of the biggest records in hip-hop, so we want to um, acknowledge Miss Sylvia, Sylvia Robinson. Robinson. Yeah. Sure. 1979, that song came out, right, Speedy? That's when I graduated high school, baby. Oh, okay. yeah. Wow. Class of 79. Old. It's so wow. fine in 79. Are you serious? Uh, I slapped shit out of you. You graduated <laughs> high school? I was, I was born in 73. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I was the one changing your pamper going, let me put this little thing in there. Look here. Oh. Welcome to Rapper Reach Around Radio. It's your boy, Speedy. That is. Disgust. I mean, yes, two, two weeks in a row we talked about raping me. Now he talks about fondling me as an infant. I'm disturbed. You what? I'm disturbed. <laughs> you said disturbed. I'm disturbed, Speedy. It's your boy Speedy. Speedy, why would you? I say apologize. Risk Chris Hansen on. when you need Thank him. you. Yeah, you have daughters, Speedy. <laughs> Many of them. Oh, look, Hank Williams. All right. <laughs> Welcome right. to Reach Around Radio. We are back at Talent Thursday. It's your boy Speedy. I'm the poetess, girl Claudia Jordan. TDP, no finger, Mr. One, Two, Three, Knox, <laughs> baby. <laughs> and our token white guy who's been known as RT is off to the side because we have talent. <laughs> yeah. Hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> <laughs> you can handle it. Yo, so we got a great. <laughs> so you can handle it. We got a uh, very, 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 very. Poetess? Um, yes, in the studio with us today, he's from Southgate. He just launched his second mixtape, Damage Controlled. Damage Control, excuse me. And he is <laughs> toured, How do you do that? He has toured time? overseas. Please give a reach around welcome to Young, Young Brown. Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Who's 
by Jay Steez. You know what I mean? Got much control. Go get yeah. that right yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah. Chicano with an attitude, I'm stainless steel. Alias, yo, Ram, but the name is real. Something they can't touch, but for sure could feel. Cause y'all got a deal, but don't know the deal. Yep, I know the business, my Versace is watching. In Japan on tour, man, the sockets got me. Yep, I'm popping and toasting, son. Ain't a blood or quit, but I'm close with some. Say, we got the game on lock, for sure. Don't act like you busters don't know. This what the game been waiting for, young Ram. I'm here rapping, Pac died in 96, they said the West went with them, I started rapping in 97, the West ain't with us, I'm an artist, and rapping is a hell of a drug, I ain't drinking, but I'm posted with a hell of a buzz. I'm the master of this piece, nothing after me I run game high, be the lyrical athlete On the track with a magic, and some gasoline Threaten whack ass rappers so you fast asleep Fuck your mixtape, homie, and your album's whack I strategize, my hustling moves, I call me grass You in the game for a minute, then you all played out Running back to your girlfriends, all played out I sacrificed what I most love to do this year And I made them triple to what I came through this year Did tracks about females, the label we saw But it's your girlfriends, I'm fucking when I'm writing the songs, I'm in the game Yeah, home is making them hot Like a fat soul running the block I'm so hot, got no record label But the records don't stop So don't label me New West, just label me hot Y'all making it happen back yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about Young I'm gonna, Breezy I'm gonna Come gonna on to the table, baby bonus. Come on to the table, man Oh, spin that wheel spin Claudia that wheel. dances like a hoa <laughs> Spin that wheel for us, Pippin Claudia, I'm impressed Spin I it hard had that <laughs> do it one more time, dog. Do it one more time. Yeah, use your man arms. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. They want the dude to strut? No, we don't want to strut. Dude. No. Let's do another one, baby. Fuck that. Claudia, you got are a stress hilarious. Song. I don't see you from Yeah. Truth or dare. Come on in. Have a seat. <laughs> Speedy, why you change the strut? We got a strut song in it. Yeah, we don't want to do it. Right in the house, once again from Southgate. Young Not Brown. Young Brown in the house. Love that song. That was hot. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, right. sorry. I, I didn't mean to laugh during the performance. Claudia just all right. had me roll. Yeah. He wants to know when you guys are available for the next video. Yeah. <laughs> not hey, me. I'm not a dancer. I'm, I'm not either, but I, you know, hey, I need to check. That's all right. <laughs> Claudia's auditioning, huh? I see that. So is the album out or is that just the first song out? Yeah, this is uh this is one of the tracks on the project Damage Control, uh, that I just recently released. Um, um, you know, it's a street mixtape. It's all original. Um, it's a mixtape only because uh, it's hosted by DJ Warrior. Um, but I do got the tags and no tags for people who want to, uh, you know, get it. Um, got some cool features on there as well. You sounded good. Thank you. I was feeling it. Thank you. Got me doing the snake and shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, Young Brown, you're from Southgate, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is yes. the Miller Outpost still over there on Slauson and... On uh, you talk, oh, no, on Tweety, Dang, did they yeah. even on Tweety, uh, you know I don't think it's still there. I don't think it's there anymore. Okay, no. I still got some Outpost? pants from there though. From like, you know, I'm talking about yeah. back in the day. <laughs> Miller's Outpost, right there. Yeah, <laughs> damn, yeah. that's like white fronts. Yeah, who exactly. remember that? Uh, <laughs> so now I, I'm getting, you know, I'm a little older now. So when I hear mixed tapes. Tell me, how, how does that really get you out? Because do you really get paid from being on someone's mixtape? This, well, this is uh, something I put together. Um, I just, you know, I had DJ Warriors. You know, I don't know if you, you guys are familiar with him. Uh, big DJ host out here in, from New York and does, you know, quite a bit of stuff. So um, I was going to make it an album, um, but I, I figured, you know, there's, there's a lot of uh, the way music has changed. You know, uh, a lot of free music out there and, and people actually, you know, to compete is you just got to expose yourself. And I figured, you know, it's, it's what better way to expose myself than to just give it to the people and make it a a, a mixtape to where a big DJ host is hosting it, mm -hmm. and and then also I got some good features on there. So <laughs> just it's all about exposure. Uh, the, the only difference is uh, I can't, you know. Uh, I mean, I could put it put it on. So I set it on, on the streets, you know, for a couple of dollars and try to get a couple of bucks. I got back, a question. But, yeah, Young Brown, are you you consider yourself a battle rapper coming through the ranks? As, uh, no, I no. don't. Um, you know, if it comes to it, you know, push gonna shove type of deal. You know. Uh, It'll happen. I lose, I lose, I win, I win, whatever. But okay. that's not my forte. My personal forte is uh, writing and then rapping. I just could flow that comes naturally. Yeah. Um, but you got writing, a nice flow. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. Would you consider yourself a West Coast rapper? Uh, yeah. Yeah. West Coast is just you know I'm I'm from here. This is what <clears throat> music I grew up in. But you know I also I also can make you know just universal music, which is what I'm trying to do and you know expand my horizons to to something everybody could feel. No tear tattoos on your face, so I guess you're a good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. coming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. No, uh, I'm just kidding. No, we have, Not yet. <laughs> we have a caller. Caller, what's your name? Where are you calling from? 
Hey, Tay. What? What's your name? I, Tay from ATL. Tay. Hey, hey Tay. Tay. Hey, no, come on now. <laughs> hey, it's your some, name. Hey, you at the Lake Small. Just a little bit. Yeah, what's that? What's happening? You got a question for hey. uh, our guy, Younger? Uh, no, I just want I wanted to get to do props, man. That um, that song, um, actually, you know, that's riding, dude. Um, Thank you. you leave your information so we can know where to pick that up. Yeah, yeah, nice. I'll, I'll dig that. Thank you. Appreciate that's dope, that. man. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Might you can get it at the Linux Mall on the <laughs> second floor. <laughs> Might not have to get those here tattoos anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After all, right? All right. So how do people get in touch with you? If they, like, say, you? Get the you main thing, um, Twitter. <laughs> Twitter is one of my biggest things. I'm always there promoting some way, somehow. You could download the did project. Did you promote you on Reach Around Radio? Too? Yeah, I did. I definitely did. Oh, um, I actually did a couple minutes ago when I was in the green room. <laughs> so, What's your Twitter? Uh, uh, at Young Brown. At Young Brown, okay. yeah, just go get me there. You can download the whole project with the tags, or you hit me up personally. I'll send you the link to get without the tags. And then, uh, you know, I got a new project as well coming out, which you know we we'll get into it or not a little bit later. But well, the chat room is loving you, so I guess we'll be throwing you into the rotation here. Oh, awesome! Thank you. Yeah, so, who are your, some of your influences in rap? Um, the old cliche of West Coast music, uh, Tupac is you know definitely, especially my I'm an '80s baby. So, poetess. Did you see a sex tape? Oh no, I didn't see. It. I oh. want to see it. No, no, <laughs> say poetess. Put, put, yeah. OG Port. <laughs> OG Port. She's a rapper too. We always oh, like okay, her. yeah. She got the yeah, flow. She's, she's an influence of mine as well. And I, I, I don't know yet, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's dope. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, Tupac, uh, Biggie. I like, you know, Sugar Free as well. He's, you know, I work with him as well. So that, that alone was, was a little was a little confusing for me in my in my. Well, the wheel you spun has Sugar Free's rubber band on it right there. So we got a truth or dare question. So let's get this truth or dare question. Uh, We let one of the ladies go ahead. You want to do truth or dare? Uh, Let's do truth. All All right. right. Hold you got something for me? Young Brown. Um, Are you blushing? Have you... Me? No. (laughs) No, no. Um, I don't know. It's a hard one. Help me out, Claudia. Truth. What is the chat room saying? They got them. Come on, dead air ain't don't count. Yeah. I know, I don't know. Shut. It, it just throw what, it out. What um, MC have you? I guess have you ever made a sex tape? Have I ever made a sex tape? Yeah. Did you repeat the question? <laughs> <laughs> I figured the best way to come up yeah. with with eyes to repeat the question first. Yeah, okay, my bad. Uh, um, yeah. on my phone probably. Yeah. What? Yeah, can we see? Still on uh, it? Still on? Nah, it's probably not there anymore. Uh, probably not there. But you had the phone and you was. You Jacking off? <laughs> <laughs> Move your hand. Oh, that's my hand. <laughs> Whose hand is this? Whose <laughs> hand is this? <laughs> we we want to thank you, young <laughs> for hanging out with us. If you need to book that- me for a video, it's at Claudia Jordan on Twitter. <laughs> my favorite right. kind of high, but you know, you can find the money. <laughs> and look for Young Brown sex tape, hands across my penis. <laughs> <laughs> it's on YouTube. T Mobile. T Mobile. <laughs> and tell him one more time how to get in touch with you. Yeah, get at me at Twitter at Young Brown. You can download all my stuff there. Got a uh, my the mixtape damage control featuring Glass of Malone, Sugar Free, Photo Glock, the jacket from the bay. Uh just everybody who, who came out with me. Thank you guys. Appreciate uh, it. Thanks for thank coming you. out. Yeah, good good luck. Luck. Thank you. Right. Young Breezy. Young Brown Jeezy. from Southgate. That's right. That's right. That was dope, man. Yeah, it was yeah. good. Yeah. We're gonna hey, do me a favor. Uh-huh. Uh, grab a white dude. Tell him to get in here. Yes, yeah, it's cute. We're gonna take a quick break. You're listening to Reach Around Radio on LA Talk Skype, Live. Skype, Call me now. Call me now. We're, gonna, we're getting now. more light skin. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part of the whole song. Yo, it's Reach Around Radio. It's Talent Thursday, and the talent is on fire right now. It's your boy, Speedy. I'm the poetess, Claudia Jordan. TDP, Mr. One, Two, Three, Knox. Baby. Baby. All right. All right. So, who uh, we got up, Speedy? Who's oh, my, I can't read this small print. It's not going to happen. Mm. I don't have my glasses on. Uh, Jay yeah. Free. Go ahead, Claudia. Take it. Jay Free is a 22 year old California artist with strong roots from the Motor City. Motors! Raised in Southern California, he is strongly influenced by Tupac and Snoop Dogg and other West Coast rappers, but is also influenced by other regions like the South and his favorite, Young Jeezy. Free is motivated to bring relevance back to the lyrics with his high energy and punchline friendly flow. He is able to adapt to any genre and hopes to be one of the biggest names in music, not just in rap. Okay, hold up. Is he going to rap sitting down like that? I mean, is he right? Yeah, he's it. You can sit down. You want to stand and sit? It's more of a mellow tune, so I mean, okay. Okay. Watch I was like, your tone. That's your sexy song. <laughs> okay. All right. It's a sexy so song. Doing your Everybody rap. give it up for Jay Free. <laughs> All right, Jay, Jay Free. Free. California Zone. This is the life of a star. 
trying to do it like it's never been done before Free flow addictive, it's gonna leave you one or more The life I'm trying to live is stuck in my imagination Trying to have a free flow and shut beat on every station A lot dream of it, but I'ma do it though A lot of them think they hot, but at best they so-so But not free, I'm a beast when I'm behind this mic I show the streets the way, man, no need for a flashlight We're coming up to the club, my rate you gotta pay And every meal I'm putting down, tasting like victory My flow, man, got me transformed from a penny Cause now I stand out, doc, instead of one of many Right Lights running through the city yeah. I'm there, everybody's born again This is the life of a star Club scene, chilling in the VIP My songs on, everybody's trying to sing This is the life of a star Tripping the nails, shooting over first class Who cares about the front row, we now doing backstage pads Ray bands are where it used to be Just a stop, can't wait till they hold back The paparazzi camera smile When payday is definitely more than a stack Hit them Nike town, only leave them with the rack Throw a birthday party, chilling on Diddy's yacht Better yet for myself, please believe But above all else, my music's what the people feels No days off, say to my man, it's so real No more sure club ones, I only got 50s flowers everywhere in the hood I'm like fresh diggies, you seen it now, man, I've been wanting this my whole life Food and I pop model, rock star, kind of white Ain't there yet, but trust one day, man, I'ma get there Want that life of a star, gonna put it in the air That's hot Okay, that's hot J Free. Yeah, spin the wheel. Love that hook. Spin the wheel, J Free. Yeah. The life of a star. Take something off. Take Play something it again. Off. You got a strut? What is that? Let's take some off. Uh, take some, take some, some off. off. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Show the cross eyes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Took off his glasses. <laughs> How many of y'all in here? <laughs> A lot of motherfuckers in here, baby. <laughs> Young on. Free, that, that hook is a beast, man. Yeah. Thank you. That's my boy, actually, uh, Jay West. Much love to him for that because he actually um, pitched that for me. Free's do mess around with Ray J, but he actually just showed that hook up, did it for He free. messes around with Ray J? Yeah. Well, and you know what no, Ray J is famous for. Never, never, he didn't rate that nigga? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing like that. That hook is a beast. Rate that Thank nigga. You. <laughs> <laughs> so you got eight Bentleys outside? You... Nah, nah, working okay. on it. Nah, I don't I don't need all that, though. But nah, I'm working on it. That's right, Jay Free. No. <laughs> no, 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 not right now, at least. Hilarious. <laughs> now, are you writing and, and uh, producing all your stuff? Or? I, I don't produce, don't produce. I got um, actually shout Chuck, he does most of my production, but I write everything. Mm-hmm. Any word ever comes out of my mouth, ever will come out of my mouth, is definitely written solely by me. I'm very strong put on that. So, yeah. Can you look into the camera me. and wave to our chat room? How's They're going? watching. How's it going? They said you look like Gilbert Arenas. That's what they said. Gilbert? Hilarious. For the gun allegations. Yeah. Have you ever heard that before? Never. Who do people say you look like? Uh, Free. You know what? I hate to admit it, but I'll be honest with you. Eddie Jones. I got that before. Okay. I see that. I got that before. The chat room says you look like Kanye Vest. Our chat room is called. They said Gilbert Sapinas. Kanye Vest. If I get Kanye money, I'm already with that. That's right. How long have you been doing your thing? How long have you been rapping? Uh, so I've been. I'm more. I'll say writing since I was a kid, maybe four or five. I was really. It was really? a way for me to vent. Mm-hmm. So that was my thing, like poetry. My and daddy whooped your ass. You like in the room, right? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Did you have strict parents? <laughs> Did you have strict parents? Ve- no, no, not overly strict. But my parents are very supportive. But um, definitely had standards. Definitely had rules. Taught me, you know, good work ethic, hard work. So I have very hardworking parents. So you I'll went out that. in the streets like gang banging. Nah, them. nah, nah. I'm very positive with my views. Very positive. I mean, I'm from the hood, so I understand that aspect of everything. But I never really got sucked into it i had a lot of older cousins that were into that that kind of cut me away from me so i was actually very blessed to rough be part of, to stay away rough from part that. of town yeah northern or southern california but i'm from southern california actually family from detroit in that area but actually yeah. out here too color come uh pacoima um you oh, know, long beach that did area. you have a lot of stray dogs and loose stones in your neighborhood <laughs> stray dogs and loose stones, <laughs> <laughs> loose stones. <laughs> brick walls yeah. broken you know curb you know, <laughs> you know, here and there. <laughs> Right, so is the album out or, or is that just uh, a single? actually today um actually later on tonight i'm having a release party at eden in hollywood actually oh. for my mixtape all systems go volume one the chase that'll be out actually tomorrow okay so download that piv um just about anywhere you find mixtape i'm on, I'm on it. we have a caller caller what's your name and where are you calling from it's keith 
Hey, Keith. <laughs> Yo, when y'all gonna stop bringing these, like, gay rappers on, like... <laughs> You're assuming awful lots. Yeah, How dude. we know you ain't gay, Keith? Yeah, right. you, Keith. you say right. us with your Keith, with your name. Yeah, let me meet your girl. We'll see how gay. <laughs> oh, oh. Go. uh oh, put that on the blog. <laughs> He's gonna rate that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying like it's just yeah, like I like that like, song. Like he's not like there's no lyrics. Like it's just sing song rap. So sing. Keith, do you have lyrics? Um, yeah, you want to yeah. hear? All right, get okay, in. can we get a little battle right Let's now? Let's get a little freestyle. Let's go. Give me a high 16, Keith. Oh, I'll do that. I'll do it, you know, at another time. No. No, no. no. You're going to call no. somebody out. And then, okay, I got you. All okay. right, that's uh, Monday. One day. No, 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 we need to see how you work. No, we don't do it on Monday. Today's Tuesday. Yeah, give me a high 16. DJ always gave you the track. Let's go. Let's go. Here we Come go. On, wait. Just give us a hot eight. Give us a lukewarm four. <laughs> <laughs> give us a, a, a semi one. <laughs> no? Come on. Yeah, except from Detroit, we call those clowns. Yeah, yeah, yeah so we I can't hear the beat, so. We call those clowns. It's Biggie. Come on. All right, next. Let's. Yeah, right. I'm disappointed in Hater. Him. Yeah, we call those clowns. That's funny how yeah, people hater. do that. I'm with you on that, Jay Free. I'm haters. Yeah. Clowns. Yeah, you know. It, takes, it comes with the game. It's always it's people on the sidelines criticizing the most. Right. You know what I mean? He can't kick. <laughs> right. what? You can't kick. Can't kick. Mm, you gotta. Uh, where could people find you or download your music? Oh, definitely. Um, well, definitely can follow me on Twitter, J Free Music. On Twitter, also, um, my Reverb Nation page. I have a lot of my music posted up on there. Website still under construction, so that'll be coming soon. So I'll have that information. Hopefully, if I'm able to come back with you guys, I'll oh, have that sure. shortly. Yeah, come back. But um, as long as Keith don't call. <laughs> Keeps, maybe he likes. You know, maybe he likes you. Team. Ain't nobody. Maybe he a man fan. Maybe and they gonna wake that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he was hoping you were gay. One hundred percent no homo. Yeah. That's right. But if it's worse, it's fine. You know what I mean? Like, no, it ain't. No, 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 I'm no, saying like no, we gotta no, stop no. making that such an evil thing. It, it is evil. It's not evil. It it is is evil. Thank you Kenny, for hanging out with us. We're gonna take a quick break. You're listening to Reach Around Radio on latalklive.com. Coming up. Claudia's medical model minute. <laughs> oh medical Good minute. luck with your medical. Thank you. Appreciate it. Jay Free. I like big butts in a can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in the mix with DJ Don't Ask, Don't Tell. <laughs> <laughs> and this, hat. this is the one hit wonder. Uh, this is not a one hit wonder. Right Sometimes they get two hits, but it's actually one or two hit wonders. Shout out to Africa Bambada right now. Man, this was a piece. Yeah, this spawned other hits. Yeah, this changed rap right here. Yeah. That what year was this? That's 82. I don't know. How old were you? He was 35. That a <laughs> <laughs> and I was babysitting you. Look here. It's Reach Around Radio. It's your boy, Speedy. I'm the poetess. The girl, Claudia Jordan. TDP, Mr. One, two, three, Knox, baby. Bang, bang. <laughs> and uh, sitting in for the white folks. The white shadow. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise known as Tea Party. RT. RT. RT Party. RT. Oh, yeah. RT Party. I like that. What's RT stand for? Real talented, real talented. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so I'm talking my about mom, my mom knew. My mom knew. Way to like, jump in. Yeah. I like that. No, you got to tell about your 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 brother and you. That was singers, but your brother had a. Oh, when I oh, because well, I wanted to be a um, soul singer when I was growing up. Okay, but I'm white. I don't know if y'all can tell. And yeah. You're from Atlanta. You have I'm a from soul, Atlanta. You don't have a typical white boy voice though. But I grew up with a lisp. So <laughs> okay, so I want to say to a beautiful young woman like this, I'd be like, "Ain't no sunshine with cheeks." So it was, it was very, it was lot, very difficult. A lot of spitting yeah. cheeks. Yeah, it's very difficult. <laughs> Front row attacked. is wet right now. <laughs> yeah. But no, so yeah, so I'm here just hanging out. Yeah, Thank okay. you. I appreciate it. Man. You yeah, like no black problem. women? Me. Do I like what? Black women. Uh, yes, I do like black women. When's the last time you had sex with a black woman? Oh my god. Um, a couple weeks ago. Oh. How about a white woman? Uh, a decade ago. Really? <laughs> wow. No, we, we were uh, we were doing no, a show on the been, road. No, it's been a minute. It's probably been what year is it? 2011. Mm -hmm. 2011. But all the black men are into that now. It's probably been seven, seven, eight years maybe. We were on the road. More yeah. black women for me. That's good. What do you like about <laughs> black women? The ass. as opposed to. Oh, this is the view right now. So. <laughs> yeah. This is the view. You want to know? Uh, yeah, definitely the ass. If you take ten, ten black women versus ten white women, mm. there's definitely percentage wise going to be more booty. Out of the ten black women, in the but how's a, a 
the difference like the white, girl oh, the white girls are coming up thing. yeah white girls are coming up now so that's that infomercial ass <laughs> but what about besides the ass the obvious like does it feel different when you're having sex with them um mm. good question no Bobby. like i'm gonna help you out here RT. <laughs> we, we were on the road and uh, this white girl was getting at rt and rt kept going uh speedy can you take her please <laughs> hysterical <laughs> please fuck up for me please <laughs> i can't do it i said what how do you say do it i can't do it so wow. you sure? I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll take it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> we have you a question from a the chat room. Offering. Oh, Henry said, "When's the last time he had consensual sex with a black woman?" Wow! Uh, <laughs> wow! Without paying? Yeah, without paying. <laughs> uh, consensual sex. Uh, I think every time is consensual. I hope. You have you ever paid for it? Yeah, it's very consensual. You know what I'm saying? You have you ever paid for it? <laughs> you have a huge grant. Have I paid for sex? I have, I have paid for sex before. Yeah. Huge grant. Is it better or worse when you pay for it? Um, better because uh, there ain't no okay. shit afterwards. <laughs> right. Exactly. Ain't no. So what we doing now? I have some more questions for this twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that video is hysterical. Uh oh, uh -oh. Mm. I hear that. You hear oh. That? With the music me up. me to surgery <laughs> me me to surgery all right it's time for the medical model minute <laughs> no you don't you got got props. Props. She's, Dr. George. she's my pills <laughs> they're not antibiotics though so Tetra i can cycle <laughs> no what's it called td pod it's uh td pod <laughs> call you tweet pod it's uh tricycle <laughs> cycling <laughs> got a bicycle These are infection. oh this shit is beige i know because i haven't taken drugs in a long time that's ibuprofen though you know what that is? Like a pain reliever. Don't put your dirty you know fingers in my in your what? medicine. In your what? My medicine. Don't put it in, in anything, your... actually. <laughs> wow. Okay. This medical model minute, uh, I saw an interesting story. And, you know, you hear this is like, you think this is just like kind of like a fake thing. But do you know you can break your penis? No, you can't. I heard Dennis Rodman broke his penis. You can break your penis. Sprain or break A penile it? fracture, a penis fracture, is an injury caused by the rupture of the tunica albuginia. I'm not really saying it. I don't think. I got that album. It's caused by blunt trauma to an erect penis. Popping or cracking sound, significant pain, immediate flaccidity, meaning going soft. Flaccidity? And a skin hematoma are various si of various sizes are commonly associated with the event. So you can actually fracture your penis. But how? I will get to that. Okay. Uh, the symptoms are similar to uh, common bruising or contusion of the penis. In the Western world, the most common cause, accounting for about 30 to 50 percent of cases, is intercourse. The, of those, the woman on top position is uh, the impact, the female pelvis bone against an erect penis, and it bends, and you might hear a cracking or popping noise. Ooh. You can actually <laughs> fracture yeah. something in there. It's not, there's no bones in there, but it's Yeah, that's why I that don't let damage. them bounce on me. Well, I mean. You can't let them go all the way up and down. Well, you like them big, though, too, sweetie. That's so. true. Like, yeah, so if yeah. they come down on your penis, it's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Forget the fracture. It's, it's like going to get wrapped up. <laughs> it's going to be like, penis and a sling and shit. <laughs> apple sauce down there. Can <laughs> <laughs> the tail on the donkey. <laughs> uh, penile fracture is a medical emergency, and emergency surgical repair is the usual treatment. Mm. Because that you are uh, snapping the, the tendons in there, and you're, you know, it's, there's a break. There's a rip. Oh, they got to put a cast on your dick? Well, a lot of times it ends up causing a curve, a severe curve of the penis. Delay in seeking Which treatment. Is not bad for us. Yeah. <laughs> I, I found, hook to the left. <laughs> I found a left curve being more pleasing to myself, actually. Really? Yeah. Mm. Am I to the left? I'm trying to think. No, I'm down. Yeah. Mine's go down. Go oh, down. I curve down. Most <laughs> elephants do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> uh, delay in seeking treatment increases the complication oh, rates. Uh, there's a non-surgical approach results in um, 10 to 50 percent uh, complication rates. So there's complications in this. Yeah, uh, and the, some the yeah, the complications <laughs> will be <laughs> the complications from the surgery that gone bad will be uh, erectile dysfunction, oh, wow. permanent penile curvature, damage to the urethra, or painful sexual intercourse. So fellas, please be careful because it is possible to break. So the when you think you beating it up, you might be breaking your thing. No, yeah. I do have um, information on this story. This was back in the day, back in the <laughs> 1900s. <when> Speedy <laughs> was hosting <laughs> Motown Live. Wow. Yes. Motown I Live. I remember that long time. And ago. I was sitting next to Carmen Electra and Speedy didn't know who she was. I said, Speedy, it's Carmen Electra. Give her a shout out. And then Speedy gave her a shout. She was like, oh, thank you for telling her to give me a and she was with Dennis Rodman at the time, mm -hmm. and that's when he had broke his penis with really? her. Really, he broke his penis with her, huh? Because they was on. She was on a one of those sex swings, mm. Mm, and she jumped too high and came down. And that's too much. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it happens. Doesn't he? I don't know. Speedy? Does he, Speedy? 
<laughs> you ever tell your ass I always lean back? <laughs> you know it's coming. So yeah, from the woman on top position, you have to be careful. POTUS, do you like being on top? Yeah, mm. that's actually my favorite. Really? Most women love that. Speedy, stop. Go slow, Cardi. I like being on top because... Because you're in control, is that why? Not only that, but because like every you can like... He can put one hand on your ass. He could be like sucking a titty. And then you could be <laughs> riding. So it's like... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's everything at once. So it's like down, triple... Claudia. So it's like, so it's like yeah. triple stimulation. Triple you know what I mean? stimulation, yeah. Not just like... So, Claudia, do you like reverse cowgirl? I... I'm great at that. You can, oh, yeah. <laughs> you can go slower, please. But the reverse cowgirl, sometimes you can mm. risk a penile fracture if you break really go. Shit, break that shit. <laughs> yeah. And I don't want to have to have you go to surgery and I have to give you painkillers. And... Yeah, surgery. Wait, no, no, no. That ain't. <laughs> so, so, reverse, so, yeah. Do you guys like a woman being on top? Yes. White boy? Uh, yes. So I can take a break because usually I'm working, you know, pretty hard. Right. And, yeah. uh, you know what I'm saying? So I want to relax for a minute. Do you so, guys yeah. get offended if the woman <laughs> always wants to be on top? No. Love it. Do you like when a girl like shoves her boobs in your face? What like I don't like <laughs> is when you're hitting it from behind. They trying to hit back with you. Like, no, no, just put your head. In the well, pillow. I think with the girls that you date, it's probably um, just they gravity. They're going to come back automatic. It's gravity <laughs> and inertia. You know what I mean? It's just, <laughs> you can't help it. You know? Anyway. For every action, there's a reaction. Inertia. I used to date her, I think. <laughs> I put the head in the pillow. You mm -hmm. grab their arm so they have no leverage. <laughs> And, and then you tie them up and then what? <laughs> oh, right. I mean, like, give us the whole story. Oh, right there, nigga. Sounds like right to me. Is that consensual? <laughs> so you like to tie the arms up? No, no. You, you take their arms and you, you pull them back. You got their Are you roasting a pig yeah. or having sex? <laughs> <laughs> you riding a Harley Davidson. What's going on? Get some more of that glaze. <laughs> sure. You want to see it? You want to see how I do it? Oh, you no. want to show me like... I can show you. Right. So it's like the yeah, Superman position. Hold on. Right. Yeah. I'm going to show her. Show oh. me. Put the camera on. Please film this. Put the camera on. This is the best radio show ever. <laughs> All right. So ready? So, so you go here. You know It's right here. Yep. I don't feel a thing. Speedy, <laughs> I don't feel it. <laughs> she said pull harder. You have to pull hard. I don't feel anything, Speedy. And uh, just like in real life, Speedy's finished. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a baby on the way. <laughs> you prayed to Claudia. So you might want to get checked. Ew, not <laughs> well, Speedy is here. <laughs> Hi, mommy. Speedy is a pervert. Speedy is a three-pump chump. That's what he is. <laughs> This guy got clam chowder all over the seat. <laughs> I didn't think she was going to let me do yeah. it. I was like, Listen. okay, let me get one more. I'm trying to get this radio show to blow up, goddamn. If I got to get grinded by a soft penis, then so be it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like a new marshmallow or old marshmallow? I, I felt like I felt like a one. You know, there's a skinny, you probably small felt more gut on your ass. <laughs> wow, more gut than nut. Pull it. It's your turn. Yeah, why don't you yeah. do it yeah. with her? Do it with her. Uh -huh. I, do you still, her. I don't want his penis nowhere near me. <laughs> it won't be. Don't worry. I didn't feel a thing. <laughs> I think so you said it's got a safeguard on it? <laughs> I think his penis is close to his spleen. It's all tucked in. Oh, he has an Emmy. Yeah, he's an Emmy. <laughs> Speedy, I really didn't feel anything. Though. You wasn't supposed to. Whenever I, you grind on someone, like, You're I would my think. my friend. But I, I would think a woman, like, bent over and, like, arching her back. Friend. And you, like, looking at her ass. Maybe if it was Eric. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can we get that song? Femininity. Give me. Give All the times you how you want to do, Claudia, you had action. Had a she bent over for you, dude. I thought she was gonna move, and I went. She gave you both of her arms, the <laughs> position did. that you like. It was done. I should have just. <laughs> 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 Speedy couldn't beat the pussy up. <laughs> Speedy couldn't beat the pussy up. <laughs> you scared. You scared. You scared. You scared. Uh, you, scared. Uh, you know what it's like? Uh, the, the one girl you've been chasing all your life. And they, they, they go, come on. You're like, huh? The way you want it, too. What you want to do? That happened to me one time. A guy that was asking for a long time. I finally said, all right, what's up? And he just, all systems Limpy. were not a go. Limpy. So. Right. Uh -oh. Oh, yeah, the segment's over. <laughs> <laughs> this has been the Medical, Medical Model Minute. Minute. I love the song. I love that play. Uh, I'm taking a break. Speedy, I can't believe you failed. Damn.
You left you you left yeah. a lot of meat on the bone on that one. Wow. You let down the mail. But it was very sudden. It was like and I, do it. And I, it was like, yeah, I didn't think it was gonna happen. I was you like, scared? Yeah. And she said, "Come on." I was like, "For real? It's, it's really gonna." You didn't have time to coordinate. The- no, I couldn't yeah. tell my dick. Go, nigga, go. <laughs> <laughs> Get off the block. Get ready for liftoff. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, <laughs> seven, six. Yeah. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> TDB, are you disappointed in your friend? I am very disappointed in him. Okay, let's do it again. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> And what radio station is this, RT? This is 92.7 on your FM dial. K-Rag, you're on the rag. Talk to me. <laughs> hey, my name is Speedy, and I couldn't get my weenie out. <laughs> couldn't get my weenie to wiggle. <laughs> well, That's maybe nice. next time plays Merrick Benet. Damn. You know, <laughs> like set the mood. Yeah. yeah, set the mood. I didn't think she was going to let me do it. Speedy, Speedy. she bent over and gave you both I arms. I have committed to everything this show. I took my top off with the one show. Yeah, you did. I over here danced with the Cholo guy. Yeah, you did. I Young bent girl. over gave you my arms I, 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 I she got her Marianne me. outfit on and the nurses she's a cop I, I oh commit to the God. show so yeah, if you... I say I'm gonna do something god damn I'm gonna do it damn. but you definitely submitted more easily than most girls do they usually try to are put you up trying a to fight. call me a hoe uh, <laughs> you have hoeish tendencies it's all entertainment purposes that's right CJ you know TV, well, they're trying to mess up my joke you're listening to Reach Around Radio on LATalkLive.com. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right with a stripper, y'all. <laughs> we look sad. How's the girls dancing? Welcome, Welcome back. back. We are back. It's Reach Around Radio. It's your boy, One Pump Speedy. Oh my God! And you're bragging about it? Yeah, it's the it poetess. I got it in. And it's Claudia still not satisfied. Jordan. Uh, <laughs> teeter. <laughs> Guess I'll go play. Teeter. I'll go play with it later. Wow, Speedy, three pumps. Yeah. Man, I Speedy, is that how you get down for real? No. And I'm in heat too. No. <laughs> you know all this information ahead of time. I, I, I told you I haven't done part. it in a long time. I didn't know that. Part. I haven't had a little fishnet condom for you ready to go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Speedy, you are a loser. <laughs> fishnet! You are the hold biggest loser. Hold, hold, hold that fishnet condom, fish net condom form. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. it was the perfect storm. It was all set up. Yeah. <laughs> there goes Frazier. <laughs> Speedy, hey. you never have another chance again. Like next time, it's like Haley's comet comes around, maybe. <laughs> Every seventy-five years. Yeah. Uh, come on, Speedy, you're better than that. I thought. Yeah, I'm sorry, fellas. I think you might need to have some paternity tests on your kids. I don't believe you made all those kids now. Yeah. I don't. You seen Brooklyn? I know he's. I don't know, man. He's what? Oh. Very handsome. He's handsome. And smart. I've seen Joaquin Noah too, Speedy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Kim, Yo, Kim no. Noah plays for Chicago Bulls. Uh, I'm telling the story. Oh, yeah. That was like, just like Brooklyn. Yeah. We're watching. Was that lady in Chicago nine years ago? <laughs> Alert. We're watching. Everybody's uh, pointing to Donnie over here. Yeah, it's my main man. We were watching Aww. the game. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Me and Brooklyn, this went back when he had his ponytail and he saw Yo Ken Noah running down right. the court. He went, Dad, he looks like me. Exactly. And I just said it's your funny. brother. <laughs> they are now, twins. Now he likes uh, Blake Griffin. Oh, okay. He has posters and everything in his room with Blake Griffin on there. Really? Okay. So if I ever get a chance to meet Blake, Blake, call in, man. 323 247 7443. My son wanna meet you, man. Yeah. He's in the city. Yeah. Well, whenever they come back. All right, in the house. It is Town Teeter. Thursday. Yeah, Teeter, you got yes. it. Yes, out of Washington, D.C. D.C.? Yeah. He appeared on Jamie Foxx's lap, Laugh-A-Palooza on the new faces. Reach Around Radio, please welcome Real. Comedian. Welcome. welcome yeah, to the what's show. up? All what's right. up, everybody? Hey. hey. Um, do my set. Listen, I just, first of all, I just want to address that y'all had uh, four rappers than me, so I just want to let y'all know that. What kind of project hallway talent show this it is? Hysterical. Inglewood's hey, got talent. I don't know what this what we doing. <laughs> what we doing in here? I want to thank my four audience members also. Appreciate y'all for coming out. Did this show in my treehouse. This is ridiculous. Ah, <laughs> uh, where we at? Oh yeah, man. I was a little late. I apologize. Coming up here, man. I got a little lost coming up uh, the highway. Um, I hate getting lost in, in L.A. too much because I'm not really familiar with this area. I don't know how things happen out here. Like a lot of gangs in this in this particular area. Like we got gangs in, in DC because of y'all now out in LA. We got Bloods in DC. We got them in Philly. We got them in New York. I think that's dope. That shows you how organized these gangs are. If you're unhappy in Compton, you can now be transferred <laughs> to your East Coast office. That's pretty, <laughs> I think that's pretty incredible. I need to get a new gig, man. This comedy it ain't really working out. I need to find a new job, do something else. But the president was here like a couple of weeks ago, yeah. talking about job, trying to get it cracking. You know, I'm trying to figure it out myself. I only got I got nothing for me. I got no job. I don't even know what the debt ceiling is, but if we don't pay that money back, China gonna repo all this. I'm talking about monuments, 
everything will be gone. We root for the Beijing Lakers. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> White House gonna be on Craigslist. I can see it now. <laughs> Rock will be in the White House ducking phone calls, Mr. President. Channel's on the phone for you. Tell them, tell them I'm not here. I can see it happening right now. Things cost. Wars cost, man. We got two wars. We got we got to pay for stuff. We don't even care. We got two wars. We don't even think about it. Like, we ain't got time to worry about war. The Kardashians are getting married. We ain't got time to worry about that. You know, you know who's not who's a, who's pretty happy about the war in Iraq? Iraqi kids. They haven't had to go to school in like six years. <laughs> <laughs> They sent me home, mama. It's missile day. I bet you. <laughs> That's missile good. day every day. <laughs> T.I.'s out of jail. That's always good. For now. For now. <laughs> I'm going to need T.I. to not tell me how he's going to promise to stay out of jail this time on the rap. I need you just, let's just play it by air, homie. Let's just see what happens. You know what I'm saying? T.I. was supposed to change his life over three albums ago. He ain't never going to do it. Mm -hmm. Ever. <laughs> First time he went to jail, I think he had with the silencers. It was he had yeah, silencer. Like everybody's like, "Hey, yeah, gotta protect his family." What? Like silencers only have one purpose: quiet murder. That's the only reason. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody going duck hunting in silence. <laughs> <laughs> only two types of people even keep silences: cold blooded killers and 007. That's the only people I know. <laughs> That's one place I ain't trying. I figured out though. You gotta have time to. You gotta have. You gotta have time to, to stay out of jail. You gotta do t have time to, to do crime in general. That's the best way to do it. Like you look at like anybody, you know, Britney Spears drop her baby every three Thursdays. Charlie mm -hmm. Sheen got the cocaine, the whores, everything. If R. Kelly can sleep with a 15 year old and we still go to his concert, then surely Chris Brown should be allowed to karate chop a girl his own age. I think it's only <laughs> fair. <laughs> it's only fair. Listen, prisons are full of untalented people, brothers who couldn't hit octaves, bad at freestyle rap battle, just just untalented dudes. Somebody's phone's on. Watch that. Last person trying to go to jail. I don't, I don't have to. I don't have the frame. This frame ain't built for jail. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> people in jail get too much money. People in jail get cable TV, ice cream Thursdays, casual Fridays. My cousin's taking swimming lessons in jail, learning how to swim in jail. I can't swim now. I'm like, Mike, you have two life sentences, no chance of parole. When are you going to make it to the beach? When is it going to All right, I'm good. That's my time. All right, thank you. I appreciate All it. Right. Come on, y'all. Show your love for Funny real. Stuff, Spin the wheel for me, Tim. Spin the wheel, homie. He said, Inglewood's got talent. Hysterical. <laughs> Facebook. Facebook. See what they got to say about you. You got it on? Who's on we'll Facebook? Go, we'll go. We'll take it from the chat. We'll do it from chat room. Yeah, chat room. Thing. You have a question, comment, something you like him to know. Oh. <coughs> they're actually giving you a. Thanks, sweetie. Appreciate it. They're giving you some uh, some love here. I'm getting a little, little bit of love. They yeah. said you have a frame built for Norwood's house. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> uh, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, yeah. Caller, what's your name and where are you calling from? Uh oh. Who is it? Foxhole calling from the foxhole. Oh, it's the foxhole. It's our old employee calling us back again. They we, uh -oh. we don't work there. They fired though? us. So yeah. hey, yeah. Oh, uh, former boss, what's going on? What's it's that? cold over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. Why is it so cold? Y'all getting all the heat. <laughs> sound like Shaq. Why do you, why <laughs> do you, know he does. Why do you yeah. sound so depressed though? Why do you sound so sad? It's hard out here, man. What, what's so hard about it? I mean, you have, you've got Lou Diggs, you've got G Thang, you have Brandy McGee, you have Johnny Mac. I mean, I'm fire. What are the fire. bullshit fool you? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Don't let this do I need to be here for this one? Yeah, it's, it's, it's personal shit. The stage so, so what do you plan on doing? Like, I mean, you know, you, you guys wanted to do a, a newer, a bigger and better version of the Foxhole. Like, what happened? <laughs> Oh shit, God black coming. I gotta go. <laughs> Hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, God. God. Anyway, real. Excuse us. Love it's it. Just it's so real, get out, man. And I, I saw this brother. I said, yo, you gotta come do the radio show. And some comics have bid it. You did very well. Thank you, Rob. Well. I appreciate it, man. Very well, man. You, you've so. gotten the most love of any of the comedians that have come through. That's what's up. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Don't mean shit. Yeah, they've all been retarded. I get, I get a t shirt or something. No, you, no, you got some red okay. eyes. Damn. Yeah, yeah. What's going on with you? It's not It's a lack of sleep. Oh, okay. Is it really though? Yeah. Is that John this medical model? <laughs> <laughs> I think he has an iron deficiency. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the lack of food. John <laughs> this is for little kids. John is. I don't know. John is. John is means you have a it's an yellow eye of acid in your body. And you See, I'm already looking up on my phone right now. Yellowness of the eyes and liver. So how do people get in touch? With, oh, do you have any gift coming up next? Or yeah, man. I'm, I'm performing. Um, <laughs> There's an S in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing. I'm uh, I'm headlining a Starbucks next week. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, tonight I'll be at a. Uh, I'm doing a Laugh Factory every Sunday. I do it every Sunday, Chaka Sundays, and um, I'm at the Improv in two weeks, and um, I'm about to go on the road to New York for a little bit. So not that that matters to anybody whatsoever. Are there any comedians that you just hate? 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 
Um, Strongly dislike. Nah, Don't, I'm good with everybody. Come on, your voice whenever you want. Nobody lying. did your joke yet. That's why. Nobody stole my stuff yet. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? So I'm good as a writer. I'm up in the game five years. So I'm good right now. That's enough time to build some enemies up. No, I'm not. Nah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get some out. dirt from you. you know what I, mean? I got no dirt. Well, I'm not a dude. I don't have the body to start beef. You see this? How much you weigh? <laughs> Honestly, hmm? I'm about 145. Damn, me and you the same weight. Wow. Wow. <laughs> You're like a swim noodle. I got a, I got a twin brother. He's about 170. So that's because of comedy. That's what that is. Oh, you know, you know a how big you, one. You know how I used to be, Speedy. Yeah. How back in the day, you struggling. So. You know what I'm saying, but I mean, you could wear her jeans. I probably we probably the same size. Are you 26 waist? You know what? <laughs> I'm about 29. So. Wow. <laughs> That's me and my period. You give me a big wow. <laughs> <laughs> I get a big enough belt. We could be twins. You know what I'm saying? Wow. We could do it. So are you starving? I'm sorry. Good. No, I don't starve. I just you know I eat light. Trying to watch my figure. Don't don't. That's not. That's real. What was you, know the, you said you started five years ago. Yeah. What was the defining moment where you said I'm gonna do this shit and make a career of it? I, I wasn't good at really nothing else. I was. <laughs> that's what it was. I went to school for a little bit and uh, that wasn't working out. And I came out here. So you know, comedy is the poor man's sport. We can do this. Right. You know what I'm saying. We have so. another caller. Caller, what's your name yeah. and where are you calling from? Brega. What? Do y'all screen these calls? What's your name? My name is Blaga from New York City. Blaga? Hey, Blaga. Blaga. Bodega. <laughs> What's goody? What's that? What's your comment or question? Um, <laughs> I want to know where I can see your pictures at, Claudia. I know you said that. <laughs> They were saying you kind of thick, you know what I'm saying? I want to see the cake for myself, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. the cake. Yeah, you know I mean, Who says the cake. Is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, who says chivalry is dead? Yeah, I mean, I want to see, the, see cake, the cake, son. I never heard yeah. that. One. Uh, are you on Twitter? Yeah, I'm on Twitter. All right, I'm gonna tweet you a picture right you now. Your, you got your uh, dick in your hand because you're so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> what is? No, nah, my brother, not at all. You're like, where are the pictures at, I'm son? I'm gonna send you something. What's your Twitter? It's at T M B R E G G A. Oh God! What T M what? T M B R E G G A. Okay. Sound like Tim Berrega. Who masturbates on Twitter? <laughs> T M B R E G G A, right? Here. Yeah, T M B R E G G A. Yeah. So you know the yeah. world is about- Amber in the back, yo. Five W Mag. I see you, girl. Oh, you know Amber? Oh, wow. oh she wow. sure know a lot of brothers. Oh, Amber. She sure got a lot of brothers on the wall. Maybe hey, you should get a show. <laughs> Amber, Amber, I, love, I, love, I mean, what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you laughing back there, girl. What's up? Amber do got a big old backside, though. Yeah, she's, she's, she's got I a saw Speedy backside. hugging her during the break. Yeah. She won't let me have her. She's been to Roscoe yeah, yeah, a few yeah, that's times. That's my people's right there. All right, let's get to the other right line. All right, chairs. thank you so much. No. All right, she's going to send it to you, Pimpin. I'm going to tweet him right now. Get that lotion ready. Does that happen often for you? Well, she well, does every fo- day. I did a photo shoot, and like I gained 10 pounds. That's why me and you have the same weight now. Wow. And yeah, and you had to gain 10? Damn. I gained 10. Oh, we have a caller. Uh, caller, what's your name and where you're calling from? Yo, what up? It's BP from that DMV. What's happening? Hey, BP. From the DMV. Oh, DMV? BP, yeah, I had to call in and show some support for the, for the DMV, man. Keep yeah, what's doing up? It. Where you from in D.C., dog? I'm from Northwest, Georgia Ave Van Buren. You gotta always call out your street, make sure people know where you're from. Okay. Hey, are you sure you ain't from Montgomery County, dog? Nah, why? Cause I, I speak properly. That's what. <laughs> yeah, what else, what you, I mean. you sound like you from Montgomery County. I'm with at, the rich folk. I'm at. I got. I'm at. I got. Sound. Do your thing, though. I got. Sound ignorant to be down. So, what so do it the ignorant way. <laughs> so, what up, up, Slim? What up, Cuz? Uptown. 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 All right, Playboy. Be easy. All right. I'm nervous now. He gonna come find me. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna be hard to find unless you guys between Gotta you. Gotta check uh, your credibility. Nah, I'm Some a needle. Nah, I'm fast. I'm faster brother than my high school. So I just <laughs> learned that DMV means what? DC, Maryland, yes, and ma'am. Virginia. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you yeah. know that? Yeah, not it. I okay. thought it meant DMV like where you go get your license. Department yeah. of Motor Vehicles. <laughs> 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 I'm in the. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do people get in touch with you, uh, Rel? I'm Twitter, Rel Battle, uh, 2 r 2 l or just Rel Battle on the Facebook. Look me up. You know, real battle like R E L L R E L L B A T T L E two. And you have R- a twin brother? I got twin brother Terrence. Yeah, don't give him no attention. He's not that important. Why is he so much bigger than you? Were you the rent? Well, because he, he eats every day. It's one of those things where he, <laughs> oh, he, he has a regular he, job. He got a regular job. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm 
I'm yeah. sorry to hear that. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm, I'm good. You no, but it sounds sad. So as, like, a, okay. as, as a comic, you know, you got to kind of. I stay in shape, though. You got to lean shape. up on somebody. Who, who, yeah. Who's your roommate? Uh, whatever girl that's <laughs> laughing that night. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no shape. Like, I'll tell you, act like you don't know. <laughs> Maybe you don't know. But whatever. <laughs> 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 well, good luck. You're funny. Shots you. fired. No doubt. Thanks Thank for coming you. out, man. Appreciate, Appreciate you, you having me. Give it up for Rel. Represent Rel. Washington D.C. DMV. Who kind of applause is that? Yeah. yeah, do it a little longer. <laughs> We're gonna take a, a quick break. You're listening to Reach Around Radio on LATalkLive.com. Yeah, real. <laughs> Stay there. A lot of Michael Jackson. What do we call this, uh, Claudia? This is the uh, Conrad Murray Michael Jackson murder mix. Uh, <laughs> yo, it's Reach Around Radio. It's your boy Speedy. I'm Connie Bong. It's your girl Claudia Jordan. TDP Mr. One Two Three Knox. Baby. Baby. No. And also a white man in sheet. And you're listening to 92.7 K-Rag. You're on the rag. Talk to me. We're keeping the flow nice and chunky for you. <laughs> K-Rag. Look. Call me now. Call me now. Call me now. Wow. Period. <laughs> K-Rag. K-Rag. Be bad when you don't have it, though. This is going to be a hook for somebody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, it's great. The Talent Thursday is on fire right now. Prove it. Really fire. Is. It's on fire Extra with the R in there. Yeah, that's a little... I spelled it fire and I put it. I got me working. And I had a Michael curl. Jackson. DJ Allway. That's, that's, that's what Conrad Murray wasn't doing, working day and night. Wow. <laughs> he was on them hoes. Yeah. yeah. Did you see yeah. the little young tender he had in the courtroom? I yep. said, ooh, Conrad. Any nerd with money can, I'm telling you, man. Any nerd with money. Any nerd with money. Yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude. Attica, man. Attica. Dude. <laughs> <coughs> 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 How's everybody doing? What's that, man? Tubular. Yeah. Awesome, nice. man. It's all to the good. A lot going on, man. Chilling, man. It's my Doritos. Yeah. Hey, you guys been to Korea? No. Not you been there. Oh, heard man. of that uh, boy band out there called uh, Boy Band? Yeah. Speedy. It's K Boy Band. Anyway, the leader of that group, I mean, you know, it's a big deal if you get caught smoking weed out there. In Korea. Uh oh, man. Wow. I'm tripping. Well, G Dragon, who's the lead singer to this boy band, you know, someone told on him, said right. he was out in Japan smoking that wacky weed. Uh, so, what they suck. did was the officials gave him a drug test, urine, first the urine test came out negative, then they put Yeah. They plucked a bit of his hair and found out he's been smoking that wacky weed. Oh, that blows. Mm. <laughs> he was uh he was looking at a sentence of five years and fifty five thousand dollars. For weed? Wow. Yeah, I got, I got that. Fight the power. This is in Japan. You get a lot of this weed. This is in Korea, Korea, but hey. Yes. Korea, where you can have sex with nine year olds, but don't you dare smoke that sticky icky. Yeah. Boys <laughs> wow. with penises. Man. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you you think Korea's bad here in the United States? I got the top five worst states to get caught with weed in. Let me know. Number dude. five. Okay, we'll start with number five. Number five. <laughs> Stay out of there, man. That. Stay out of number Arizona. five. Arizona. Oh, Especially right. if you're a Mexican smoking. Stay out of there. <laughs> Stay right. out of there, Stay right. out of there man. Take your weed and kick you out. Oh, my God. Number oh. four. Even, oh, no, I got to tell you why. It's the worst state. Sorry. Shout out to rehearsal. Jesus. Eat South your of- brownie, man. Shut yeah, up. Yeah, just relax, <laughs> man. Fucking take a toke of the bomb. Um, even a minor marijuana possession offense in Arizona could get you up to 18 months. What if you're under age? What you need? Felon, it's a felony crime if you uh, try to sell any weed in, in Arizona. Punishable up to 18 months Dude. and a $150,000 fine. Damn. Oh, Put that, that on your pizza. Number four. Number four, Louisiana. Ooh. Oh. 
Uh, so back in May, it was reported the case of Cornell Hood, too, who received a life sentence for possessing two pounds of pot. I heard all the dudes. That's in Louisiana. Life? You don't want to get caught there. Don't I heard all the there. weed in Louisiana is all wet, man. What's going well, on? <laughs> underwater. <laughs> Number three. So, can, can you slow your roll? <laughs> Eat your brownies, dude. It's not your segment. Yeah. <laughs> dude. Relax. Because I wanted to say that in Louisiana, he was a repeat offender. So that's why his. Uh, but still, though. That's why he got the life. Yeah, Louisiana, right. where you can hang a black man, but don't you dare smoke that weed. Yeah. Can I say it now? No comment, man. Go ahead, <laughs> Speedy. Go ahead, Speedy. Number three. Didn't we already, do, or did we do, what are we on? Dude, we're, we're high number, right now. We're, we're on number three, and number uh-huh. three goes to the Sunshine State of Florida. According to research, that. no other state routinely punishes minor marijuana more severely than Florida. Under Florida law, marijuana possession of 20 grams or less is a criminal misdemeanor, punishable up to one year and a thousand dollar fine so those mm. black guys in their gold rims and gold teeth yeah, making it bad for us so. <laughs> you have a florida one claudia uh florida <laughs> we can do ecstasy and cocaine and club live but you can't smoke <laughs> weed. Oh. also i've heard Dangerous. number <laughs> two dude number <laughs> two goes to texas don't fuck with texas mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the long star state man on a yearly basis texas prosecutes more of its citizens for pot than any other state in the country wow. yeah man everything's bigger in texas even the electric chairs <laughs> <laughs> great call man yeah man. marijuana arrests comprise of over half of all annual arrests in the lone star state in 2009 more than 97 percent of all texas marijuana arrests that's over seventy-seven thousand people were for possession only, just for having Texas, some weed. Huh? Yeah. I'll never Holy drive man. my van through that fucking yeah, state. Yeah, no way, man. Texas, Claudia, you can drag a black man behind your truck on chains, but you can't smoke that purple haze. <laughs> Number. Well, you one. can't. Really well, I gotta say this, Oklahoma, what? Oklahoma. We're going there. <laughs> <laughs> we're going there. <laughs> I won't be bringing any weed. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Fuck. Earlier this year, Oklahoma enhanced the state sentencing guidelines for hash manufacturing to a minimum of two years in jail and a maximum penalty of life in oh, prison. What? That blows. That sucks. Let me tell you a couple stories that happened in Oklahoma. A judge sentenced a mother of four to 12 years in prison for her role in the sale of $39 worth of weed. Damn. O- that a bit Oklahoma fun. is not okay. <laughs> uh, black people, man. Despite yeah. public outrage, they still kept her locked up. She's still in jail? One more. A uh, paraplegic was sentenced to life in prison, later reduced to 10 years <laughs> after being caught with two ounces of medical marijuana in his wheelchair. That's bullshit, man. I know that guy. He's a stand up guy. That's bullshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe you guys didn't roll up on him. <laughs> yeah, <man. They, laughs> Whoop, whoop. <laughs> One more story. Uh, out the police. <laughs> man was arrested for uh, having weed on him at the police station. <laughs> it's a rebel, man. <laughs> yeah, man. An Austro- Australian man was arrested when marijuana was found in his possession while he was visiting two female friends that were locked up in jail. Party, man. Somebody in jail is going to make him go down under. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Visiting hours are from 5 to 8, but he showed up at <laughs> 9 o'clock demanding to get in. And when he demanded, they asked him to empty his pockets when they noticed a big bulge. Yeah, what a rebel. You're in now. They emptied his pockets and found some marijuana. <laughs> hey, where's Willie Nelson when you need him? <laughs> yeah, he didn't have to go far. He got locked right up. Crappy law. <laughs> right there. Wow. And, uh that's the uh, Connie Bong report. Wow. So blow. Who demands to go into jail? <laughs> that guy's yeah. a moron. Pothead. Yeah. Hey, just go, to go walk pot. in with a pocket full of weed. You're in. Dude. That's amazing. Yeah. Great guess, stories, man. Oh, we have a caller. Yeah, have a oh, caller. Connie has a call. Maybe it's a Awesome, man. Caller, what's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, shit, I'm on the radio. This is Mrs. Kales. Hi, Hi Mrs. Mrs. Kales. 
That sounds better. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How are you doing, love? I don't know what to say because I'm nervous right now. Oh, don't, don't be, be nervous. nervous. Okay. Uh, just let me give me your hand. I'll hold your hand. Oh God. Oh, Speedy, you you blew it today. Yeah. Right? <laughs> we don't believe. You. What's up, Kels? I don't know because the thing is breaking up. I can't really hear y'all. Okay, just say whatever's on your mind, baby. I love TDP. Oh shit! Ooh. Hey, hey. TDP right. got action. He's yeah. blushing. TDP is the funniest person on the radio. Wow. You must have been hitting the bomb. I have to agree. I beg to differ. You're a great listener. She's been hitting the bomb. TDP is hilarious. Where do you live, love? I'm in Nashville. Oh, oh Tennessee. Yeah. Do you, are you attracted to TDP? Are you like, do you want to meet him maybe? Because I don't think there's a Mrs. No, TDP. I just love funny men are the most attractive things in the world. And I love TDP because he is so funny. Speak mm -hmm. on it. Speak on it. <laughs> Tell the truth and shame the devil, girl. <laughs> <Pray. Yeah. laughs> are you moist right but now? I would like to give a shout out to all the team. RAR, Chuck Farmer, Davy Dave, GT, Black Bonds. Those guys lift my spirits up every day. I've been sick all week, and they have had me laughing all week. What's wrong? Are you okay? What's your ailment? <laughs> Sinus infection and a virus. Not the HIV virus. <laughs> All right. Just the damn virus. Okay. okay, so listen to the medical model next week, and we'll. <laughs> what kind of virus? I can address it next week if you like. Is it something you want to talk about? It's not the herpes. The what? It's not no. the big bad boy. No, it's not. She said it's not the AIDS. <laughs> Okay, everything is breaking up. And <laughs> okay. That's herpes call waiting. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah bitch, I'm going to try to joke to you. Trying to bust through. All right, thank you so much. We have another call. Call, call it what you need. That's herpes call waiting. <laughs> Please get off the phone. Get this. Call it what you need. Where you call from? I've been trying to contact you. <laughs> Who's Who is it? it? Nephew from, from Atlanta. Hey, hey nephew. nephew. From Lennox Please Park. don't do that shit ever again. No, he <laughs> said, no, he's in Atlanta. He's really from Atlanta. What's your comment Atlanta. or question, nephew, from Atlanta? <laughs> I just want to say, man, I heard a rumor that y'all were coming to Atlanta. Is that true? Well, there's a Team RER um, reunion. reunion they're trying to create, and I think it's in February. So if all goes well, we'll definitely show up. Yes. We would love to show up to that. So, But if you know any promoters that have a little Skrilla in their pockets, they can fly us on out there. Well, see, I need a DJ. Holla at your boy. What? Uh, we have we always, have but he wanted us to throw him to the curb. <laughs> oh, that means give him a break. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll just go to our blog, put your um, DJ name on there and your mix, and we'll put it on there, and then yeah. we'll put your mix up against DJ Always Mix, and then we go from there. We'll have a DJ off. Yeah, we'll do that. That's yeah. right. Are you we'll have, we'll have Always hanging at Linux. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah, don't go to the He Get sounded like kind of. Get him always. He sounded hostile to you. Don't let like, the light skin fool you. Thank you for the phone call. That was like a love hate phone call, though, I yeah. think. You know what I mean? Thank you for the phone call. like a love hate phone call. Any other callers? Uh, no? uh, when's the last time you've been back to ATL, man? Uh, I went uh, like last month. Last month I was there. Okay. End of August and September, yeah. So what was the weather like? Um, Hot. 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 Atlanta. Was, yeah, you, was I, it the Linux Mall? We no, I did not go to Linux Ball. Because <laughs> my friend went to Linux Ball and he said, "Man, what happened?" But it's like, <laughs> but it's like shooting fish. What happened? It's like shooting fish in a barrel, though. Like any girl there, you know, is like you can get at her. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, they're outnumbered. We have a caller. <laughs> caller, what's your name? Where what you coming from? <laughs> hey, you guys, it's Mona from New Orleans. Hey, Mona. I just want to say I really hate Magic Jack. I've been trying to get through for like two weeks or something. <laughs> yeah, we're But I'm on now, so I'm happy. Oh, Thank I'm you, sorry. Baby. Thank you for calling, Mona. We're going to get it together. What's your comment or question, Mona? What I want to say is, Portia, she got to participate a little more. Portia, you got to reach around. <laughs> you got to do something. She wants you to participate more. Yeah, I've been violated. More today, tossed yeah. I know. Um, <laughs> Potus needs to get tossed up a little even, bit. Even Miracle said I'm kind of low-key today. I don't know. Sometimes I'm low-key. Just... Well, can I grab your, your titties? No. Can TDP? No. <laughs> can, I? Can, can the new guy? He said, can I? <laughs> <laughs> you put a deep voice on it. You got to put your George Clooney mask on. <laughs> can I? <laughs> uh, that's for sure. Oh, my God. He can grab my titties. <laughs> GT in the chat room uh -huh. said, Potus, yeah, get your hoe on sometimes. Get the hell Let me ask you, baby girl. Do you really feel in the show? You like it? <laughs> she you know? Yes, I do. Oh, I love the show. <laughs> <laughs> the white boy is the funniest and the most handsome man <laughs> I've <laughs> ever seen. Call me now. <laughs> but shout out um, to all the people who have been donating to the uh, the fundraiser. You know, we have a lot of a lot of participation in the mm -hmm. very beginning. I, I corrected my goddamn self. I know you ain't talking, Speedy. 
You butcher the English language every you what? single week. You what? Butcher, butcher. 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 the English language. You butcher do. You butcher the butcher. Every single week. Consonants, anyway. table of one. Consonants, <laughs> table of one. <laughs> so, anyways. Thank you for all the people who have donated True to our fundraiser. Donate. But we need more, though. We need Donate. more. We are, you know, we have, we got bills. We got bills. RT, you got white friends? Uh, yes, I have a few. Yes. We Mostly need them black, to though. Donate. We have a PayPal account. They can just search for my email I address, ClaudiaJordan7 at AOL.com, and donate. See, I have it like in reverse. Usually, white people when they have black friends are like, "I have black friends." I have it like in reverse. I have white friends. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you hang around a lot of black. I have folks. two white friends. Right. No. So, RT, are you in the NASCAR? Uh, no, I'm not in NASCAR. No, no you're not. A, I want to go to an event because I heard it was good. Hockey. Yeah, I heard there was chain. beer drinking and titties and shit. Yeah, so. yeah. Poet is asked if you like hockey. <laughs> uh, hockey? No, uh, no, don't like hockey. I was I grew up in Atlanta, so there was no ice, and so. What do you hear? You know, what? I think I wanted you to chime in on some news stories from a white perspective. How about the white perspective? The white perspective with RT. Um, a few weeks ago, there was a hockey game going on, and a white person threw a banana on the ice aimed at the black player. What do you think Wayne about that? Simmons. Uh, well, soccer fans have been doing that for years, so uh, hockey fans need to catch up. And uh, <laughs> hilarious. Throw more bananas, you More bananas. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's fucked up, man. You can't go, you can't do that. I mean, you know. Yeah. Would you throw a banana? Uh, no, I would not throw a banana. He's not going to say yes right and now. And bananas are on sale there. I would throw some cotton, though. I would throw <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> I would throw a pillow at your ass. Shouts no. out to Jimmy Carter. <laughs> <laughs> Are you an Obama fan? Uh, yes. Supporter? You know what? I voted for Obama. I have never voted in my life, but I felt like this was right. a special election and uh, it needed to be done. Will you vote for him again? Uh, yes, I probably will vote for him again. Probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So where did you vote? At the gas station? <laughs> <laughs> I actually went to a voter registration place where they voted. There you go. Just yeah. checking. Well, good yeah. for you for voting for the first time. How old are you? Uh, I am 35 years old. Oh, okay. okay. Missed a lot of them. You look a day over 50. <laughs> <laughs> day over. <laughs> wow, speed. <laughs> white folks age. No, like white folks, yeah, y'all do age. There's some 25 year old white girls. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Get them out the sun. Road hard and put away wet. Hilarious. <laughs> uh, Say it again. Road hard and put, put away wet. wet. It's an old horse racing term, yeah. Speedy. Mm -hmm. Kentucky you, Derby saying. A lot yeah. of mileage. Yeah. You got Ooh. mileage on you? Do I look to have mileage on me? No, you don't. Exactly. Yeah. Speedy, you as well. Oh, Speedy. I, I try kidding. to give you mileage and see what happens. Shit. Yeah. Come on, Weenie, don't let me down. The alternator gave out on you. Yeah. <laughs> Blew a gasket. We're going to take a quick break, come back. Quick we bake? have a quick bake? Quick bake sale? Quick, quick, <laughs> a quick bake. We having a bake sale? I didn't know, Speedy. Well, we have, we have a, a friend of mine huh? who was really tight with Ike Turner. Okay. So I asked him to come down and tell some of their Ike Turner joke, uh, oh. stories. So we're going to have male version of Pam. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So, you know, they have some great stories. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, you want to stick around, white guy? Sure, I'll stick around. Cool. We uh, Rich do. We need your help. Oh, ooh, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's Reach Around Radio. Be right back, baby. Quick right. break. Quick 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 break. It's you, Mike, and you. Hey, the other day, I, I got some lovely curtains. Look, it look we are back in the kitchen window. It's Reach Around Radio. It's that your boy, Speed Dorky Dog. Dog. You know, that me so and happy, I'm baby. the poetess. I'm Claudia Jordan. You don't. TDP, Mr. 123 Knox, baby. Mm. Yeah, whatever. Uh, the number to call to is 323-247-7443. A uh, friend of mine were here the other day. We bring that down a little bit more. And uh, we got to talking about uh, Ike and Tina Turner. And, and one of my favorite movies of all time is What's Love Got to Do With It? I Got a Bigger Dream in St. Louis anime. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. I think my the number one scene huh? is when Ike went, you trying to help I <laughs> and that's let me know if you don't know your man ain't crazy he's if he's speaking the third person yeah I thought you stay away from those dudes now you mess up tonight you're gonna be frying fish tomorrow night anime <laughs> <laughs> it's called and, lines in and, that movie and that's and you can say anime to anybody and they know what you mean exactly. exactly eat the cake anime what would be your favorite part Portis? I, I like the fashions in the movie oh, I yeah. thought the style really from the 70s was really hot in the yeah. way they dress people okay just give a political right answer. <laughs> and I just like Lawrence Fishburne and um, Angela Bassett. I think yeah. they're excellent actors. Incredible. It's a great movie. Yeah. And you, uh, Claudia? I like the part when she finally fought back in the car and she was, you know, she was taking those ass whoopings for years and doing her thing and still performing and like, putting on a happy face for a man and her, you know, for the, the front. You know, it, the word is that never happened, but I guess they Well, I mean, the movie. the movie. We're just going by the movie. And yeah. like the, the part when she finally fought back, like I was like, yes, yes, finally. Yeah. Cause, you know, Every woman in the theater was doing yeah, that. Because, you know, yeah. you've you got to root for the underdog. She's getting her ass kicked and I don't know. It was emotional. I cried when I watched that movie. Teeter? 
I like the part in the diner oh, when, yeah. when she had just finished working with Phil Spector. Yeah. And Ike was kind of salty. Yeah. And then the little white boy came up to him and said, Man, uh, Tina, can I have an autograph? He's like, That's Miss Turner, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you were just a married woman. You call her Miss Turner, boy. That, that was cold. That's just cold lines all through that one. Man, eat the cake and the man. Miss Turner, that's a married woman, a, boy. So in the house we have poetess. In the house we have Nefertini and Felina. They are um, background singers and personal. They were personal assistants for Ike Turner. So please welcome yeah. Nefertini yeah. and yeah. Felina. Who's Felina? I'm the background singer. She can't sing a lick. Hilarious. Okay. She was the one going to get coffee. <laughs> uh, I was clipping toenails and making crack rock. Wow. <laughs> wow! Oh, you the one I want to talk to. I love it. Oh I need the recipe. So <laughs> how, how much of the how much of the movie, from what people saw, was true? I would say forty percent. Yeah. No way. And the part in the limo did happen. Oh, it did have a guy that's going to come in. But and there were there were four that. people in the limo with them fist fighting: a personal assistant, a background singer, and another individual. So it wasn't like. So who did Tina hit? She beat Ike's ass. She did. What? She's yeah. bigger than him, right? But Tina would beat his ass a lot. Ike would film. Uh, almost every day of their life. So we got to see footage that people probably would never see. Cause she, did she have a good right hook Tina, on her? Tina, Tina would whoop Ike ass. It would go both ways. They had a tumultuous relationship. Really? It was never yes. no poor me. She's one of those country down home. I ain't got no edges. I ain't got no teeth on the side. Cut <laughs> oh, no. oh so, I mean, seriously, her body was like Jackie Jordan Kersey's. Right. She had muscles all on her back, her legs, her arms. I mean, she used to chop wood every day after school. She used to run six miles every day to school. People don't know that Ike trained uh, the girls, the Ikes, by letting them run in five-inch stilettos with, with the a dog. dog behind. Like, yes, he had a pit bull. Police, Police dog? dog? <laughs> on fire! <laughs> <laughs> Let your dogs loose, bitches run! <laughs> Police no, dog. He had a pit bull named Onyx. And Ike would dress up, and he had like a $30,000 um, diamond necklace around Onyx. So he was like, to train the girls, if you could stay with him six weeks and make it through the whole train as I cat, then you made it. So he would train the girls who've never wore high heels before, put on heels. So when you get on stage, you got to actually do Kung Fu, Tai Bo. Oh, that's right. All those dances. I mean, it was actually there. Kung Fu moves mixed with, you know, wow. Tai Bo and Jinsu. And he said, run away from a pimp. You know, he said, run away from a pimp. Like, oh, like this. Uh -huh. So he would train them to <laughs> run up hills and run through the park yes. with five inch high heels on. Yes. Wow. Another thing I want to elaborate on. What? We he was the first Jack Elaine then. <laughs> <laughs> we got to see the other side of Ike. Uh, when I first worked with him, um, my friend didn't tell me who he was. She's like, I'm going to take you to his man house, girl. You gonna, I hope you say yes, but if I tell you who he is, you're going to say no. And I did say no. And when I got to his house, he was such a little man. I grew up listening to Ike and Tina. But uh, uh, when I saw how little he was, I'm like, this man kind of looked like Ike Turner to me. Then I saw all these pictures on the wall. I'm like... <laughs> I said, excuse me, sir. I said, um, what's your fascination with Ike and Tina? He says, uh, you know who I am? I said, no. I said, who is he? <laughs> no, the fuck you mean you come up to my house, you know who the fuck I'm in? I said, I said, who are you? I'm Mike Turner. I said, oh, shit. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and so I said, Mr. Turner, I can't work for you. He said, why? I said, I don't want that on my resume that I work for Ike Turner. He said, bitch, is you crazy? <laughs> so, and he said, what if I said, he said, what if I said you was a hooker? When you come up to my house, I said, I cut your ass out. And so he said, look. He said, you work with me, I'm going to teach you everything I know. He said, I'm going to perfect your craft. I'll pay you on time. And he said, I'll take you on a trip around the world. He had just won a Grammy for Rising with the uh, Blues 2007. Mm. I said, yes, sir. He said, I bet your parents told you not to judge people. I said, yes, sir. He said, you get to know me. Then you judge me. I said, all right. Now, he was on Judge Joe Brown. Yes. Hmm? yes. Yeah, when he, he was or the one of the... He was I, on there I with a, a young lady by the name of Randy Love. She they was so um, one of the... I gets down yeah. the line. Okay. But it wasn't real. No. He was, what? he was, see, no. Ike was a hustler. Ike was a jack of all trades. Yes. Ike did everything from pimping to boosting to firebombing <laughs> wow. to check scams, uh, armed robbery. <laughs> I mean, everything. Uh uh, don't do that, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, why did he, why did they do uh, Judge Joe Brown that week? Because um, one of his friends, which is another guy in the entertainment world, uh, Rick James, was like, look, look, I got the scam. You can go on Judge Joe Brown and 
y'all decide who gonna do what and regardless of who win y'all gonna get it like a twelve thousand dollar check and y'all split it so he was like okay bet so he called one of the girls up and said listen we got a gig <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I quit it, and then she was like what are we gonna do don't worry about it. just 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 show up just show up show up show up show up, show up, show up. so then what that was the like f- you know the whole thing what in the ike was a real g out of working with numerous rap artists rock artists icons i can say that no one compared to him. He was really suave, sophisticated man, very well kept, Versace down to the socks. Mm-hmm. He only ate the best food. He was the sweetest man you ever want to meet. Yeah, now that's nice. the other side of Ike Turner. Right. The bipolar part, hell yeah. He was bipolar, <laughs> manic depressant, all of that. So we had our anime eat the cake moment. Yes, we have. But she got to tell you about this hilarious <laughs> uh, Wesley I have, Snipes I have two story. stories. One is Wesley Snipes and the other, I'm gonna tell you who the person is in the end. Uh, one day I was in his room and we were sitting down and I was talking to him about the movie. I said, did you feel like it was fair? He was like, no, 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 all that shit, la, 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 la. So I was like, I said, well, do you, do you feel comfortable about them picking Lawrence Trinsberg? He was like, you know what? When Lawrence played me, I had Ricky G drive me to the set and I knocked on his uh, trailer. I'm like, how you going to say, how you, listen, 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 I got on the set. I bust this nigga do down and said, listen. You gonna play me? You gonna play me right? So he said first that Lawrence was like, like, why is this nigga coming over here? You know what's <laughs> going on? Security. He said I talked to him and told him that, you know, you can't know my daddy's name. You know what I'm saying? You betray me. You gotta betray me right. He said that Lawrence took it upon himself to go to the people at Disney and said, listen, we got to modify this script. I can't have you, you know, every time I'm flipping over a script, I'm beating this woman down, I'm busting her down some stairs, I'm throwing coffee in her face. So that's how the script originally was. Every every two pages, he was busting her in her head, basically. And he said, there's no way in the world that you was beating somebody that much. What time did you have to make her a star? Right. So he said, prior to them, you know, putting the movie together, Wesley Snipes was going to play him. So, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Wesley, Wesley called him personally. And told him that, you know, it would be an honor to pay, you know, play him. But he mm-hmm. said, I have some stipulations. So I say, you know, nigga, stipulations? I mean, what's going on? He wanted Ike to give, to talk to Disney to give him $20 million. What and he fuck? wanted the $20 million in cash and $100 bills. Blade? Yes. He wanted Ike to meet him on a remote island. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Seriously. A remote island and six duffel bags, Louis Vuitton duffel bags. Damn. And with, three, with three Asian women. And a, a, about two pounds of Kush. That's what Wesley Snipes demanded? Yes. I see why he's in jail. Allegedly. Ike said, allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this is what Ike said. <laughs> <laughs> you can dig him up in that. Ike said, told him, he said, nigga, as long as you're black, don't ever call me with some BS like that. You in trouble with them white folks, and you want me to bring some Asian hoes and some Kush? What the hell is some Kush? <laughs> and, 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 and some money? He said, I don't mess with the I, the R, the S. Who am I tell I'll get this money for? I mean, I, I, what, 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 right. what am I going to do? Right. You going to get me in trouble. That's a great So impression. he said that, mm-hmm. after That's that, hilarious. he said that... He, after that, he didn't like Wesley Snipes. We couldn't even watch Wesley Snipes movie. Turn on black ugly nigga. Turn, 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 turn. <laughs> <laughs> there was another story about, um, I asked him about different people who came through his house in St. Louis. Because in the house in St. Louis, you go over there and you would see every up and coming comic and actor and actress and gangster. I mean, he said I had Red Fox and Malcolm X and Ronaldo Ray and, you know, all kind of people. LaWanda Page, the lady who played Esther, he was like, she was a stripper. Mm. And LaWanda used to bring her daughter to mm-hmm. his house. You need to write a book. And, a, and a, another lady named Betty, who ended up um, marrying um, Red Fox. And it was another lady. And they would turn tricks and strip in the living room when they would have freak parties. So he said one time, a guy named Spider brought this young dude down there. He said, hey, 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 I found this guy at the... Um, Greyhound, you know, he crazy looking. He got a do rag around his head, pants flooding. He got a guitar wrapped around his back. He was like, um, he need a place to stay, and you know, we could put him in the band. So Ike was kind of person that if he found somebody with down in luck, he don't care who you were. He will allow you to come and stay in his house and give you money and everything. So the guy came and I said, how that guy look? He's like, nigga look crazy. You know, he was tall, hair was fried, dad to the latest side, and <laughs> pants was flooding. He had a ready guitar around his back. He said, you know, we gave him a room and we put him in the band. So our first rehearsal, we was like, um, James, you know, when I do this, you got to turn the music up a little bit. So the amplifier, he said, the guy act like he was kind of slow because he didn't talk or enter, uh, enter, you know, act with them that much. So 
they put him in the living room. So when the guy got on stage, started playing the guitar, the guy would turn the music up real loud. And he said, sound like you did a rock concert. So I was like, hey, 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 hey. He said, we don't play our music like that. One more gear. So when the guy got up there, they turned the music up again. I turned to Spider, turned to other guys, and looked at them. They took the guy out the house and stumped him into the ground and broke a guitar over his head. What the so, <laughs> who's wow. the guy? Who's the guy? So they took the guy out. So listen to what happened. Yeah, About six, seven months later, Spider came to the house. Hey, 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 Ike. He said what? He said you remember um James, old crazy dude that we had broke a guitar over his head. He said yeah, this nigga got a hit record. He said where? Over in England. He said yeah, he going by the name of Jimi Hendrix. I said God damn, this nigga stole my style. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, hilarious. Yes. Yeah. All right, so that that's been that was fucking great. I'm glad you guys told those stories. So what are you guys doing now? Right now we're working with various artists and as well our own personal projects. So after working with Ike, I had to take a break from the entertainment business. How long has he been gone now? He's been gone before years in December, December twelfth, two thousand seven. So do you away. still know how to rock up cocaine? You, <laughs> you know what? For my birthday, he brought me um, a Pyrex um, cup holder and a scale. Oh my god! So I kind of seen the formation of the rock. You know what I'm saying? And one day I poured out wow. his rock. I was in the kitchen making coffee. I'm like, who got this, you know, foggy looking water? So I poured it down the drain. He was like, oh, girl, you threw a, you threw a thousand dollar worth of rock. But I'm like, we rock did what? not know that he was taking crack. I had never been around crack. God, I'm a is... nurse by trade. Right. So stay on that mic, baby. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, yeah, he hid it from us. He, he hid it from us. He would go in the bathroom, lock up, and talk about he got a prostate problem. I'm like, no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> so it be matter in the air. Crack leaves a funny smell matter. What does crack door, smell like? like? It's a terrible, you don't want, you okay. never it want to smell, smell like it. Why is bodies? everybody raising their hand right now? I don't it, know what it smells like. Right. <laughs> what kind of studio is this? It smells like a chemical smash uh, mixed with like waste. Yes. Like a back to You get a contact high died eight yes. months before he died. I gave him CPR, brought his ass back. We get to ICU. This nigga clowning. He wants his crack. Yes, in ICU. Now he stays in ICU for about a week. He's telling the doctor he got to get home because he want to go home and get the crack. Hell of a drug. His friends want to go home and his daughter to throw the crack away. I'm letting him know. You hit that pipe again. I'm not working for you because I can't sit and see if you kill yourself. So uh, he ended up checking so himself. So he still out. had money. Yeah. Hell yeah. We just went on a European tour um, right before he passed away. Like yeah. I went everywhere. Damn. The whole entire Europe. So Ike key. had money. Yeah, yeah Ike tell, had money. Tell us something surprising about Ike that we wouldn't assume. Like was he was he. I know we gotta go, right? Mm, we'll was go he really? Did he have a sweet side? He was, he was very funny. His, he's he's funny. funny. He's very funny. Damon Wayans was doing a, uh, uh, a some reality kind of show. Reality show for with the VH1. Yeah, that didn't come to fruition, but I wish it had. What happened? Him it didn't got come into a fight and and, yeah. and one of the meetings. It didn't come to fruition. Yeah, yeah no, she said fruition. <laughs> fruition. I think I said fruition. Oh, my you guys God. should write a book about this. Seriously. I know. This is classic. Seriously, stuff. this is a movie I want to see. I would like to see his side, but at the time of his death, we was putting together um, with another person who was trying to bring his book to, you know, to the big screen. He wanted to tell his side. And I think his side was so important because not only was he was an R&B singer or rock and roll singer, he was an icon. You yes. know, he wrote the first rock and roll song, you know, Rock yep. 88 when he, he was did. like seven. We might have to put you in touch. He owned all his rights. He was Jewish when it came to taking care of his business. He yeah. never had problems with the IRS or anything like we that. We have a uh, request Mazel from talk. the chat room. And uh -huh. the, you in the strike. What's your name again? Petey. Petey, Petey, they want you to stand up. They want to see your body. They like oh. laugh. They said yeah. your hips. They're like, yeah. Yeah, you're on fire right they now. They asked me to stand, ask up, me to stand up and do a turn yeah. slowly. Slow yeah. turn. Slowly yeah. turn around. Oh my Detroit God, Petey. Ass. Dumps. Shout out to Beetlejuice. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sexy Beetlejuice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, you look marvelous. You're welcome, fellas. Thank you. GT. Uh, that was those great stories, and we got to have wow. you guys back. Well, yeah. that's our part one of our Ike Chronicles. We have many more. You have more? Yeah, yes. we gotta have you guys come back. Sing yes. the song like I well, tell we, you, anime. We watch all kind of videos. He had videos on everybody and everything. So you think that you know other people have videos and sex tapes? Ike had library. Yeah, I heard yes. about Chuck Berry with the hole in his restaurant and all that stuff. <laughs> what yeah. the hell? You know who had the the, the okay. most tapes who? that was like really graphic? It was Bo Diddley. Yeah, because he would have orgies. Bo mm. Diddley. Yeah. Bo Diddley. Diddley had it like that. He had yeah. orgies. Bo yeah. knows. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank the ladies. Thank wow. y'all. We're going to have you guys come back. Chronicles 2.
Cool. That was great. We got to wrap up. We went a couple minutes over, but we had to get that in. The Ike Chronicles. Wow. <laughs> great story. Yeah. yeah. I like that. A lot of cr- Ike- I didn't realize there was so much crack being done by these people that we Until like. Until he died. Until yeah. the wheels fell off. I see you. And I see you. You in the hospital. You dying. You just got like got brought back to life, and you still worrying about your hey, crack I got San Antone. I got Austin. <laughs> So, uh, RT, thanks for sitting in with hey, us, man. We do me, man. appreciate that. Mad funny dude, man. We're going to have you come back and stay. Somebody said we need to have a white dude on the show for just to get paid. I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you have right. any corporate friends or friends? We can, we can find some. Yeah, some <laughs> you got any cousins. <laughs> anyway, tell them what you're doing. How do you get in touch with you the whole night? Uh, you can look me up on Facebook. Uh, I got a YouTube page, all that stuff. Um, and also, we, yeah, I'll be uh, with Speedy tomorrow night. We'll be at the J-Spot, right? J-Spot. J-Spot. Right. And it's just under RT? Uh, RT Steckle Comedy. Steckle. Steckle. What is that? Is that German? It's German, yes. All right. Mm. Guten Tag. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Perfect and also, yeah, and I'm shooting uh, something for Showtime um, next Friday, the 14th, at uh, the Saban Theater. So, okay. so come down, check that out. It's, uh, we're doing an hour special for Showtime. It's like a stand up uh, uh, sketch comedy show. So, okay. eight o'clock uh, Friday night at the Saban Theater on Wilshire, I think. Wilshire, well, sure it is. Cool. Uh-huh. You know, black folks don't usually go west of Wilshire. We say it right there. Wilshire's it. And, uh, we go South. everywhere, speed. Okay, sure. somewhere there. Uh, poetess. Jesus Christ. Um, what am I doing this weekend? Yes, baby. I'm chilling. Uh, the um, Uncle Jam's Army Roger Clayton tribute was postponed yes. till next year. Okay. Really? Oh, what yeah. happened? They didn't. They weren't able to sell enough tickets. So I think I'm going to come on board and help them out with that whole event. Um, You're good for that. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to work and try to, you know. Get the show together this weekend. Okay, so get this one together. Speedy, Speedy on Monday. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> your boy Speedy. Don't forget uh, tomorrow night at the J Spot, ten o'clock show. I'll be hosting. I got uh, my man RT will be on the show. Yes, sir. Uh, Clayton Thomas. And have uh, you seen Clayton Thomas lately? I haven't seen Clayton. He won't. He calls me and I booked him. Man, that dude is huffed up. Yeah, he fluffy. Yeah, really. Man, yeah, he, he, he must be living good. Because when he was broke and sleeping on, he was sleeping on your couch at one time, wasn't <laughs> yeah, he? Yeah, we, 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 yeah. Have you yeah. seen him lately, RT? Yeah, I saw him uh, a couple days ago. Yeah. That dude is huge. He's like mm-hmm. Mark Gastineau. And, and then, too, he don't play sports. You know, he didn't grow up. That's what I'm saying. Dead, so yeah, play sports. All right, so uh, once again, it's the Jake Spot tomorrow night, 10 o'clock show. Mm-hmm. It's on Manchester, 5581 Manchester Avenue. I'll be hosting. It'll be mad funny. You're going to laugh all night. Come on out. Support a brother. I'm trying to make it happen. Jake Spot's a mad, mad cool dude. Claudia Jordan, what are you doing this weekend? Are you having clean? Leave it, child. <laughs> I'll just be working out. I'm doing my own camera work right now. I see. Uh, just working out, and Monday is my role on Days of Our Lives, so I get to go do that for the first time. So we'll see how that goes. And Will you be here Monday? Yeah. Okay. They said we should be done by like 12, 1 o'clock. I mean, I'm, what I'm you doing, RT, tomorrow. Monday? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. But I'll, I'll definitely keep You'll you guys posted. But yeah, they shoot the, the um, soaps like quickly. Like it's one rehearsal and then a take. One rehearsal, then a take. They don't play around. So it's like a well-oiled machine. So I'm excited about that. So Monday. Our girl is moving Prices, up. Prices, I mean. Well-oiled. Days of our lives, yes. All right. Teeter. Uh, I'll be at the J-Spot. And then you can catch me on Twitter, TDP, uh, Mr. Three Knox, baby. Uh, Facebook fan page. Hit me up, hit me hard, so I can hit you back and hit you hard. Speed and if, of not getting hit hard. <laughs> and if you want to get into the club, hit me on my uh, Twitter, which is Speedy is Funny. That's Speedy I Z Funny. Impossible. Miracle, great show. Miracle, where will you be so the stalkers will know where to find you this weekend? <laughs> that, she gonna be She'll be at the, the J Spot. So stalkers, I'll be at the J Spot too. I'll be there too. Potus too. And always will be DJing at the J Spot. He's all over the place. He's the man around town. Yeah. He got down last night at the uh, Mavericks fight as well. And don't yeah. forget to hit up always on Twitter at always in your ear. Give him some followers. Good people. Sundays at Skinny's. Club Skinny's DJ always. Tiffany's in the house. As you see, the outfit is on fire right now. Oh, so. oh like a young Diane Carroll. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the overtime there, Richard. Appreciate it. We know we got to get out here. There's another show behind us. Thank you for everybody who uh, called in. We appreciate all the calls. Fun and, show. Uh, trust your boy. We coming at you. And hard. as always, get out there and get me my, my, my money. money. 1990 motherfucking uh, one. It does-